I'm going to survive 100 days in a one by one border, where each day the border expands by one block, giving me access to new and important resources that will help me build, thrive, and hopefully survive for the next 100 days. Our options are very limited on day one, so let's see what we can do here. Hmm, okay, so we have a village, some lava, a beautiful view, and a one block border that is extremely claustrophobic. I am on top of a tree though, so let's go ahead and grab some wood. At least I can do something, eh? Let's punch the wood until we're finally on the floor. There we go. Sweet. We got ourselves a sapling as well from the tree. Are we getting any more? Uh, please drop within the border. That's all I ask. Oh, an apple. Okay, so we have food. Phew. Oh, I can't mine outside the border. Oh, okay. I can walk outside the border like a tiny bit, but it doesn't let me do anything. Okay, great. It's a good thing we have lava right next to water, so at least we can get some obsidian and go to the nether. I really want to get out and get to that village, so I can get my hands on these cows and those villagers. Please hurry up and be day two. I'm already feeling extremely claustrophobic. Oh, there's a sapling I can't get. No! Okay, uh, I can't really do a lot. I mean, the only thing I can do is go ahead and make myself a crafting table and get the basics sorted. We can make ourselves a shovel and a pickaxe. And let's go ahead and make ourselves a sword. Oh, and let's not forget an axe. Let's break this crafting table. Oh, there's a sapling. Can I reach it? No. No, please. There's so many saplings dropping, but I can't get to them. All right. I've really been left with no choice but to head down, which feels very, very illegal in Minecraft. Please don't die. Please don't die. Let's keep going. We'll see how far we can get. Oh, okay. We finally reached stone. So I can at least make some stone tools. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a stone pickaxe and a stone sword. I wasted my wood too early. I'm a complete amateur, I know. Now, I do have the option to keep playing it risky and head down, but I think I'm going to build back up because I really don't want to keep mining down and then eventually fall deep into a cave and die. Can I fit at least in here? Okay, I can fit in here. I mean, I can't do anything while I'm in here, but at least I fit. And this will keep me protected from any mobs. The smartest thing to do would be to wait for day two. All right, let's see. Oh, hello there, Mr. Cow. Okay, I have a cow in the border. That is pretty cool. But now you're trapped down here. Um, well, I'm going to keep you in there because I may need you. Oh, yes. It is nice to be able to walk an extra block. I've just realized it's going to be a problem that we have lava so close. Because if I build anything out of wood, the lava is going to set fire to it. So I need to get myself some iron quickly so I can make a bucket to turn that into obsidian that is going to be a problem. I don't need to use it for a cobblestone generator or anything. I have plenty of that underneath me. Oh, look at all that hay. Food. Food. What is that going to be like? Day 30 or something? <laughs> I guess I don't have much choice other than heading down. But at least now I can move down in twos instead of going straight down and risking my life. Hello, Mr. Cow. I think what I should do for the first few days is get as much cobblestone as I can. If I get plenty of building materials, when I finally do open up, I can just get to work building. Maybe on the fifth or sixth day, I'll build a house. But for now, we have no choice but to just keep mining. Oh, ores. Yay. Hopefully, we can get iron in the border. That would be amazing. I'm starting to realize just how difficult this challenge is going to be. I think this is going to take more of a toll on my mental. Just stuck within the confines of this space with the only option but to mine and build. Although I suppose that's the purpose of this entire game. But you get my drift. Oh, some gold. Oh, I need an iron pickaxe to mine that. My bad. Still working my way down. And so far, no iron. Maybe I should spiral up. If I start breaking it in fours, I can create a spiral staircase back up to the top. That way we can cover more ground. This is going to be an exciting few days, isn't it? <laughs> Let's grab this cobblestone. Okay, we are now at deep slate. And I hear mobs. <gasps> yes! We have iron in the border. That is amazing. Let's grab this. Oh no, my pickaxe broke. Let's craft another pickaxe and grab this iron. Wait a minute. No! I can't get to this iron. It's behind the border. Oh, you tease. It's not all bad news though, because at least we know now tomorrow I can get hold of this stuff. Let's open this right up. My cow's still chilling up there. Put those milky nips away. Let's build back up. We'll go in like a spiral. Hopefully more ores will reveal themselves. It is not looking too good though. We'll keep doing this until we get to the top. The sun is finally setting. It's dark, and that means any moment now, the border should open up. The border has opened up another block. So let's go back down. Hey, cow, and let's grab that iron. Ah, this spiral idea was pretty smart of me. You don't call me genius for nothing, huh? Make my way down. Oh, my... 
god. There is a creeper down here. What? Oh, that was terrifying. Hey, buddy. Let's kill him with my wooden sword. That was close. <laughs> Holy smokes. We gotta be... Ah, another one, another one, another one. What has happened here? Ah, I need to make a shield. Die, die. No, don't explode. Oh my god. How many of you are there? Is there another one down here? <sighs> there are creepers all the way down here, bro. That has to be a joke. No, no, no. No, 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 no. At least we have some gunpowder. Come on, that has to be it. We've got bats as well. Yo, how deep did I go? Am I here? Any mobs? Oh, okay, we're good. Let's grab this iron. Amazing. Oh, and my pickaxe broke. Okay, that was all the iron. Is that it? Let's make another stone pickaxe real quickly. Break around this area just to see if there's anything new being revealed. Let's have a look. I don't think so. I'm not seeing any iron. Okay, how much iron do I actually have? Okay, I have six raw iron. That is enough to make a pickaxe and a shield, which is like the fundamentals. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I mean, if you keep flying in my way, I'm going to smack you over the face with this really sharp axe, aren't I? Use your head. Use your tiny little bat brain. Get out of my way. Okay, so let's get back up top. Although now I'm just terrified. Come on, no creepers, no creepers, please. Please. Oh, this is horrible. I just feel nauseous and dizzy. Okay, let's head back up top. Hello, cow. Excuse me. Excuse move out the way, please. Uh, honestly. All right, let's get up here. Okay. Almost big enough to make a dirt house, isn't it? What did I... Is that five? Two, three, four. Yeah, I said at five I would build. Let's build a little shelter around the edge of the border. There we go. And it's made out of cobblestone, so it shouldn't set a light. I don't really want to waste my oak planks this early on. Oh, almost fell in then. Let's get this small but humble cobblestone home completed. Am I going to have enough cobblestone? Yes, I am. Let's get a roof on this bad boy. I feel like I'm building a house the way Mo Yang intended it. Mo Yang, Mo Jang, tomato, tomato. We now have a little home inside the border. Let's place our crafting table and then use the cobblestone we've collected to make a furnace. And then let's smell up the iron. The most efficient way of doing this is if I use the planks to make some sticks and we'll use the sticks. I hope I have enough wood to do this. I really don't, do I? I might have enough to get one. Ah, it's just not going to work. Oh, no. We have one iron ingot. Come on. Can we get a second one out of that? Ah, the sticks didn't work as well as I thought. This is going to be a problem. Oh, I'm so stupid. I have a sapling. Let's make a hole in the roof. Then let's make some deep slate stairs. And let's make ourselves some stairs that can take us to the roof. And then let's place the sapling. All right. Okay, cool. I'm so sorry I forgot about you. You know, they say talking to plants helps them grow. Oh, you're, you're, such, a, you're such a nice... Nice sapling. Why don't you why don't you grow nice and tall for me, yeah? Yeah? Is that how you do it? I don't know. Alright, cool. Let's grab the iron out of the furnace and place this furnace Harry Potter style under the stairs. Cool. The sun is setting. The border is going to expand. We've got ourselves the sapling planted, so we should have a tree tomorrow. Actually, can I reach this tree when the border opens up? <laughs> In my dreams. Let's head back underground overnight. Oh, that's steep. Can't do that. We need a more efficient way. And now the border's opened up slightly. I can build down this way. Yes. Oh, my cow. Yo, I'm so sorry, bro. You're free. If you can make it up the stairs, that is. Oh, it's so crowded. Can you make it up the stairs? Oh, you can. Oh, yes. Yes. Get up here. There we go. Okay. Right, let's try and find some more ores. I'll be honest with you, it's not looking good. I can hear mobs. Lots of mobs. I need that sun to rise ASAP. Oh, I can hear a witch. Is that a witch? There's no way. How much wood do I have? Mm, that's not enough to make a shield. Oh, <gasps> whoa. Oh, yeah, I can't go down there. I have a skeleton, a witch, and a is that a zombie? That's a baby zombie. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. I can't go down there tonight. Let's, let's get up here. That is terrifying. I refuse to die this early on. Let's just wait for the sun to rise. Once I have a shield, I can go and clear the mobs. I'm also going to need food very very, very soon. Is there any grass that I can reach? Can I reach? Can I reach grass? Excuse me, cow. I can't break anything outside the border, can I? No. Hmm. Food is going to be a problem. I'm going to have to take things slower. It does feel like the border is expanding quicker than I thought, though. I thought it was going to be very, very difficult to make any progress. Here we are. We have a small cobblestone house and a tree on the way. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, I think the border's expanding. It is. Look at it. It's opening up. Let's go. Amazing. Do I have access to grass yet? Is there any grass around here? Oh, there isn't. Hello, cow. No. I really don't want to waste this apple. And I definitely don't want to kill you, Mr. Cow. You know what, Mr. Cow? I'm going to name you Jerry. You're now called Jerry. Jerry. I can definitely tell Jerry misses his friends. I, I I feel very bad. I'm so sorry, Jerry. But you did stroll in here. This this was your doing. Right, now we just have to wait for this tree to grow because there is too many mobs down there and I need a shield. Grow. This is taking a while. I wonder what if I head underground and see if we can find a skeleton, take him out and get some bone meal. Let's see. Do we have any skeletons down here? No. None at all. So let's head back up top and just be patient like a good little boy. This is very very frustrating. 
If only I could get to you, tree. Because this one is... Oh, oh, this one has grown. Yay. Okay, let's get this tree chopped down. Let's hope we get more than one sapling this time. Now we finally have enough oak planks to craft ourselves a shield. We don't need this wooden sword anymore. Goodbye. Yay. Another apple. More food. I really hope that this drops a sapling because it's not looking good. I don't think any saplings have dropped around the house. No. Oh, no. Don't do this to me. Come on. Yes. Okay. We have a sapling. We can replant that. Am I getting another one? You're going to give me one more? Am I a lucky boy? Oh, wow. Okay. No, just one sapling. Whilst we wait for that to grow, we can use some of the oak planks to start melting down that iron. Where... Where's my cow gone? Cow? Where's my cow? Where has Jerry gone? Jerry? Jerry? Where you at, bro? No. Jerry can't leave the border. Wait, can things just walk in and out of the border? It's just me that stays in here? Oh, that is cruel. All right, we finally have a little more iron. Now, I think... I think we should make ourselves an iron pick, just in case we come across better ores, and then we'll save the rest. All right, the sun is setting, a new day is upon us, and you know what that means. The border has expanded. Because I haven't slept, I now have phantoms to deal with, and of course, they spawn in the border with me. Let's wait for these to burn up. Get crispy, boys. If only I could eat you. All right, let's see what's available now the border has opened up. Grass, please have seeds. Oh, no seeds. Anything this side? No, we got a little sand. Obviously, I'm getting more access to lava, which is quite dangerous, I must say. I might have to block this up. Yeah, I think I'm just going to cover that up just in case. We are one step closer to resources we need. Sugar cane, more wood. If I could just get to some grass so we could get some wheat, that would be perfect. At the moment, we're not getting much done above ground. We're going to have to go back underground and see if we can do a little more mining. I really need to find some coal so I can make some torches because mobs are spawning down here and it's getting too much to deal with. Uh, at least I have a shield now. Where is my sword? I need to get down there. Oh, so many mobs. What's he holding? He's holding a shovel. Let's clear out these mobs down here so I can resume mining. <laughs> and he dropped his shovel. Bonus. Uh, let's keep heading down and grab these ores that I was missing. Now we can grab this gold because I have an iron pick. All right, so the border has opened up. So let's mine a little further out to get ourselves some more iron. Hopefully diamonds. I am so hungry. Come on. A couple more pieces of iron. Well, at least we have some gravel down here. So I, if I get some flint, we can make ourselves a flint and steel. So when I make another portal, we can get to the nether. I feel like I should go deeper. Well, I do have a shield now, so I think I have a higher chance of surviving than I did a couple days ago. Let's mine down and see if we can find ourselves a cave. Grab this blue lapis, can't pass up on you. I can hear mobs, so I feel like we're definitely close to some sort of cave. Now the border is expanded a little more. I don't have to mine straight down. There's the border, so we shall make a pivot and turn. Aha! A cave and a skeleton. Okay, we can get our have some bone meal maybe. Now I can sneak out the border just slightly on this side. I can't mine this block, but I can mine this one. So let's use that to our advantage. Let's get down here. Ow, he's trying to hurt me. I need to find another way down into this cave. Desperately. Uh, the skeleton is really trying. I think I can get down this way. Where is he? Where are you, skeleton? There he is. Yes, keep doing that. Yes, I can use his arrows to kill the zombie. And then if I can get down there. Give me a bone meal. No, come close. Come close to me. No, you need to come into the border. This doesn't work if you don't come in the border. <gasps> there we go. Did he drop any bone meal? Yes, he dropped some bones so we can get a little bone meal to speed up the trees. Although I took a lot of damage. <gasps> any ores in this cave? Uh, no. I need food so bad. It's looking pretty dry on the whole resources front. Let's head back up top. At least we know we have access to a little bit of a cave now. So as the border expands, we can go and explore that. But for now, let's head back up top. Use this bone meal to speed up the growth of that tree. Hopefully this three bone meal works. Oh, first time. All right. Why am I still using a wooden axe? Why am I doing this to myself? Let's make a stone axe. It'll make my life a lot easier. <laughs> let's go ahead and chop this tree down. And hopefully this time we get more than one sapling. Because at this rate, things are moving very slowly. Okay, we got a sapling straight away. That's a good sign. And another sapling. Oh, okay. Okay, this is a lot better. Now, I'm going to stick to planting the trees up here because it keeps it confined within the border. Let's place these next to each other. I know that is kind of illegal, but we kind of don't have a choice. The next day is almost upon us, so the border expands once again. One step closer to seeds and food. And oh boy, do I need food. Soon the border should be a size I can actually start working on a decent house. I think that would be a good idea. Because as we build the house up in the border, as it expands, my house will expand with it. Because at the moment, this really isn't the home I see myself staying in. All right, so it is another day and it's another expanded border. One step closer to you guys. 
What do we have access to this morning? Let's see. Oh, okay, so we got some wooden planks. Let's grab these. We now have access to both water and lava. I don't have a bucket. Oh, it would be so good to get to the nether right now. I feel like the only place I could spend my time is underground. Look at this, all this juicy goodness. And I'm stuck in here. I'm running really low on food too. Let's pick a random place and start strip mining from there. How about that? Let's, let's go from here. I feel like if we pick a whole new area, we might find some ores. Coal, maybe? You want to give me coal? I would love coal. Let's grab the crafting table. Oh, I can't sprint anymore. I'm so hungry. Let's make a couple more pickaxes and then take this crafting table with us. We found coal, but it's outside the border. Ah, see? I knew it was a good idea. Wait, is this the part of the border I can sneak out of? Yes. Oh, I can get you. I just can't get you. But we can be sneaky and take this. Finally, guys, we have coal. Quite a lot of it, too. Let's make some torches. Yay. Let's put one down here. And then let's head back up. Place one on the house. And then we can head back down into my main strip. Place some torches down here. Although it is already too late because the mobs have already spawned. Hello. Oh, no. I, I can't be bothered. You know what? I'm done with this. We know there's a cave below us. I'll find another way in. There's too many mobs down there to deal with. It's too risky. Let's cover that up. And let's head back down into our new strip mine. See what we can find. Some more copper. Let's keep making our way down. Oh, have I hit water? Is that iron? That's iron right there. Yes. Let's grab all of this. Ah, gotta make sure I don't drown. There is so much iron down here, but I can't swim fast, so I've gotta be very, very speedy. <sighs> yep. Nope, nope, nope. I don't have any food to regen. The iron pickaxe is making things move a little quicker. Let's grab this last piece. That was a vein of nine iron. That is perfect. Now, I just need to get out of here. We'll head back up and stick all of this in the furnace. Get in there. We also have a little coal now, so let's put you in there. How's the trees looking? You still haven't grown. I'm a little concerned, if I'm honest. Is it the placement? I'm gonna place this one here. I'm very, very, very concerned for my own well-being now. I mean, look at my hunger bar. I look at my hearts. Two days, two blocks. We can get that grass. I think at some point when the border expands, it starts expanding by two blocks, but I don't know when that is. I wish it was tomorrow. <laughs> Let's make a door so it feels like an actual house. I have to move as little as possible to keep my hunger bar from going down. <laughs> So let's just wait until tomorrow. This border is really opening up now and only one more day until we can get our hands on a little grass. And hopefully they drop seeds. The tree has grown. Let us choppeth this down. This border is getting pretty big. I really want to start building, but I just don't have the materials for it. Unless I build my house out of granite. Just kidding, granite is disgusting. Patience is a virtue, so I'll just wait for wood and then we can get to work building. Any saplings? All right, we got another sapling. Oh, yes, an apple, an apple. I'm gonna eat you straight away. Let's see, are we getting a sapling from this? Nope, just one sapling from that oak tree. Oh, okay, there was a sapling hidden back there. Let's head back down into our little strip mine and grab the rest of this coal now that the border has opened up. There we go. Let's keep using our time efficiently and get our hands on some ores. Aha, mobs. Hey, guys. Uh, there's a creeper. Ah! Uh. Terrifying. Hey, hey, we got more iron. Let's go. Oh, it's a nice big vein too. Can I get all of this? Okay, nice. Tomorrow is going to be an excellent day. I'm hopefully going to get seeds so I can start getting some food. We have three saplings. So that's more wood. It's not looking like there is a ton of ores in this section. So let's head back up top. Oh, oh, oh. You know what I will do before I go? Let's make a few more torches. Stop mobs from spawning. There we go. Okay, where is my way out? This way. Oh, the sun has set once again. And another tree has grown. Excellent. The process is very cyclical at the moment. We're doing the same thing over and over. However, all of this stuff needs to be done. It is all part of the challenge. We have three pieces of grass right here. You hold the future of this challenge in your hands. Let's stick all of the iron into the furnace. We'll have like 17 pieces of iron in total, which means I might be able to craft a bucket, you know. Then I can make obsidian. We won't have to worry about the lava and we might be able to head into the nether early. And I'll have some iron left over to start working on armor and tools. Let's see, any more saplings? Doesn't look like it. Nope, break these. Yes, we've got an extra sapling. Let's go. Okay, so let's use this iron to make a bucket. We'll grab the water from here and we'll place it here. We'll get ourselves some obsidian. All right. Now I just need to get myself a diamond pick and we can get into this. But it's great that we now have a water bucket. And then let's make some armor. Grab these leggings, put them on. Okay, okay, we're making progress. 
So we have an iron bucket, some pieces of armor, a shield. Now we just need to wait for the sun to rise, the border to expand, and hopefully we can start working on a sustainable food source. Oh, it's a new day, and we have access to grass. Now we just hope it drops seeds. Here we go. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a hoe because now we can plant the wheat seeds. Now, we're not out of the water just yet as I need these to grow and then I need more of you to make bread. Okay, we're making progress little by little. I'm thinking today is going to be a building day. I need to optimize all of this space that the border has granted me. So let's go ahead and dismantle our little cobblestone home and grab all of the wood from these trees, which will give us the space to build a better house than that tiny little cobblestone one. But first, let's go ahead and plant all these saplings in the corner here. Ooh, I better eat my apple too. Nom, 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 nom. Yo, we have so many saplings now. Wow. Uh, we'll put you here. No, let's just dart these around, actually. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. <laughs> All right, how are we going to build this? Hmm, now, let's say it's going to be about this wide. We'll build up one each side. Oh, the trees are already growing. Perfect. Let's grab this wood while we're at it. Now, let's be smart with our oak logs and make slabs. And then let's use the slabs to make a floor. Okay, yeah, this could work. Four sides. And then, of course, we need to fill this in. So I'm going to need some more planks. Let's make a bunch more of those. Get this filled in. And then let's make some stairs. It's nice that we have plenty of wood now. All right. And then we'll go ahead and build some stairs here real quick. There we go. And then just so it doesn't look weird, let's make the corners go up by one block. All right. All right. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a vision. I'm seeing the possibilities here. Now, is the house going to be here? That works quite well. Uh, let's grab some more oak logs from these trees. Yeah, this is, this is the optimum way to use the border. I like this. Now, I think it would be a good idea to pre-order the glass. So let's grab this sand and start smelting that. So when the house is finally built, I have glass. Cool. Well, I can't finish this house until I have more wood. And currently I'm waiting for all of these saplings to grow. Tomorrow we gain even more access to the world. And we're very, very close to all of this hay. I still haven't recovered from my loss of Jerry. I don't know where Jerry is. That could be Jerry for all I know, but Jerry is no longer with us inside the border. How could he do this to me? How could you abandon me, Jerry? Yay, finally more wood. So let's chop this down. I think I'm going to just turn it all into planks because if I keep waiting for the trees to grow and using up the logs, it's not a very efficient way of doing things. So let's just use the planks. We'll leave some space for windows. Okay, then I think because I have tons and tons of cobblestone, I'm just gonna use that to make a roof. Oh, wait, wait, I think the border's moving. Is it moving? Yes, yes, it's moved. It's gone back a block. Any seeds? Nope. Okay. Oh, we're getting close to that tree. Awesome. Let's get this house finished. I'm currently deciding whether I need to go up another level. I think this might be okay. If the stairs go like this, that works, doesn't it? Yeah. And then we'll fill the middle in with cobblestone like that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Works perfectly. The wheat has grown. We've got one wheat, but two seeds. One becomes two. Amazing. I really, really, really need food though. Look, I only have two hearts and three hunger bars. Please tree, drop an apple or something. I've just discovered I have rotten flesh. Apples and bread would be nicer, but the rotten flesh is just going to have to do. I'm pleased I spotted that. Let's get the roof done on this bad boy, add some windows and get this little humble home finished. That looks great. Let's move the crafting table inside. And then we'll go ahead and grab the furnace. It's so sweet and comfy. Let's just sort the inside of the ceiling out. There we go. Okay, cool. What if I did that across the whole thing? Ooh, 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 yeah. I like that a lot. Well, there's space for a bed here. That's if I'm ever going to make one. But until that day comes, let's continue chopping down trees and grabbing wood. All I care about right now is food. I, I just genuinely really, really need snacks. If I don't get some snackies, buddy, I am toast. When the border opens up tomorrow, we are getting our hands on some more grass, whether we're getting seeds or not. That's another story. It's getting very crowded in here. I, I, I don't like it. Let's just place all of these next to each other. Oh, my axe broke. Let's make another cobblestone axe. Look at all the saplings. This is getting out of hand now. Let's grab a bunch of oak planks and make ourselves some chests so I can at least store these saplings. Oh, something's on fire. Something is on fire, but I can't sprint. What's on fire? Oh, it was the tree. If I had more food, I'd go mining or something, but I just can't risk you getting hit by a skeleton or a creeper. It's, it's just gonna be game over. Okay, so the border has opened up one more block and we now have access to sugarcane. So let's break this and plant this around. We also have some more grass, so let's see if we can get some seeds. Hey, we got one more wheat seed. 
Perfect. I'm walking so slow. This is taking so long. There must be a way I can speed food up. I have an idea. Let me ask my Discord. Use leaves to make bone meal and a composter. Turbo, you absolute genius. But I only have one iron ingot, and to make shears, I'm going to need another one. So let's go mining, find some more iron, make some shears, make a composter, and we can get ourselves some bone meal. Let's head down underground and resume mining here to see if we can get our hands on some iron. Oh, more coal. Perfect. Let's grab all of this. There must be at least one iron around here somewhere. Honestly, I'm not having much luck. I am mining all around. I think I'm just gonna have to go deeper. I'll probably have a better chance of getting iron down here. Who knew my life could completely depend on just finding one iron ingot? There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh my goodness me. Yes, I can grab these pieces. That was perfect timing. Let's head back up top and put this iron in the furnace. Craft ourselves a composter. Make some shears and grab all of these leaves. Get in my inventory. So many bushy leaves. This is very satisfying. We have three stacks of oak leaves. So let's place down this composter. And is this going to work? Oh, it takes so many leaves to get one bone meal, but I'll take it. This is better than nothing. Turbo, you're an absolute genius. If you guys want to give me tips and tricks whilst I'm recording my videos, then click that link below in the description. Join the discord and become one of the fueled army today. Now, let's carry on getting bone meal. Let's go through all of these stacks. That is all my leaves, which is perfect because that speeds up the wheat. Then I can get more seeds. Start planting these. Oh, this is amazing. And we'll hoe all of this up, plant these seeds. And we'll go ahead and make one piece of bread because it's all I can make. But that is better than nothing. The sun has set. The moon is high in the sky. We now have even more seeds growing. The wheat has grown already. That was quick. That means I can make one more piece of bread. Yay. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's munch on my crunchy rolls. Let's use up the time to chop down all of these trees because I need the wood. We've got a bunch of apples from that, so let's eat those. Yes. Finally, I'm getting some health. Look at those hearts. It's been like 10 days, but finally we're at full health. But there's still lots and lots to do. The one thing you guys have probably noticed that trees are always in my way. And seeing as I have such a limited space in the border, it is quite a pain in my backside. So let's wait for the border to expand and let's go ahead and start building a new area in which I can move the trees and my farm because I want to utilize the space a little more efficiently. We'll go with the same theme. We're now branching out to the ocean, which is cool. And we now have access to this tree. <laughs> you can literally see where I was taking the leaves off where the border was. That tree was teasing me for 10 whole days. Feels good to finally get rid of it. We have loads of logs, so let's go ahead and make a bunch of planks and turn them into slabs and start filling in the floor. I am obviously going to have to move the sugar cane. Now, I'm pretty sure I have some dirt in this chest. Yes, I do. Make some little holies here. And then we'll fill this with dirt and then plant the saplings here. I think six trees for now will be enough. If I need to extend it, I can. Then, of course, I need to do something with this farm. So we'll make some stairs and we can take this up a level and then add a bunch of dirt here. Oh, a tree has grown and I've encountered an issue straight away. Let's move the stairs. We'll surround this with planks. If I put water in here, in these holes, and then if we hoe this up, I mean, there's some potential here. And then what if I take all this sugar cane, make a shovel and grab all of this sand, and then we can add the sugar cane up here as well. We'll need to make an area here, and then we'll add some more legs here. Then we'll trace slabs along here so we can place the sand on it. It's definitely not a terrible idea, because if I can put the sand along here like this, break these blocks here, add slabs along here, and then fill this with water. And then does it allow me, I really hope it does, to put the sugar cane here? Yes, it does. Okay, amazing. So this sugar cane should grow and everything is a little more organized. I just need to flatten this water out. Okay, cool. Okay. You know what? It wasn't a terrible idea. It actually looks a little tidier. The trees are definitely going to get in the way, so I need to create another way of getting up there. That would help. This wheat has grown, so let's grab the seeds from here. But rather than plant them back there, let's move them up here. Let's make some torches. Light the place up a little, because I feel like that's one thing it's missing. Dart these around like that. Okay, cool. So we shouldn't get any mobs spawning. Perfect. So we now have an organized little farm. We have our wheat growing. We have sugarcane growing, which is just in time for the border to expand. Look at this. The sun is rising. The border is opening up, which means I might get more access to the wood on this side because I really, really want to get rid of this. 
It's a giant eyesore. Break you. I can't get that piece of wood. It's behind the border. I hate you. Now the border's opened up. We've got a little more access to grass, but no seeds. It doesn't look like... Nope. <gasps> We've made it to hay. Yes. Oh, I can't grab all of this, but I can grab two hay bales. It's 19 wheat. Amazing. We must make it to the crafting table. And we can make ourselves a bunch of bread. More crusty rolls. Perfect. Well, the question is, what to do today? That's what I'm asking myself. Let's grab some water from here and just turn this into obsidian. Let's break this cobblestone, tidy the place up a little bit. Okay, the border is really, really opening up now, I have to say. I feel like we could definitely go mining. I would like to try and get some diamonds. So let's pick another spot and start mining down and try and get our hands on some diamonds today. Well, we've reached the border again. So let's turn and try mining this way. Not an ore in sight. I'm basically just mining the entire perimeter of the border now, as you can see. Uh, more copper. Come on, diamonds, please. Oh, dirt. Yeah, I'll take that. Free dirt. And coal. Yay. Coal is better than nothing. Ah, finally, we found some more iron. I've mined full circle. I've done the entire perimeter. And all I found is like six pieces of iron. Better than nothing, I suppose. I'm hearing lots of mobs. So I feel like we should head in that direction. I can hear you guys. Aha, it's you. Let's kill these zombies. Oh, it's a zombie villain. Ah, I hate skeletons. Oh, creeper. Oh, no. Oh. oh, my God. No way, bro. Half a heart. Yeah, damn. So that's where all the noise was coming from. How on earth did I survive that? Well, at least we got a couple of bones out of it so we can make some more bone meal. There's like zero resources below me. Oh, some more coal in here. Just not enough. Where is everything? Please give me ores. Let's, uh, I guess, go deeper and deeper in hunt for diamonds. Let's keep moving. Oh, I must have missed some iron earlier. Silly me. Let's keep going down deeper. There's so many mobs down here. Let's avoid them like the plague. Once I have a diamond pick, I can grab that obsidian and we can get to the nether. Aha, uh -huh, we meet once again, border. Thanks for reminding me of your presence. Oh, finally, we found a diamond. Is that it? Is it just the one diamond? First diamond in the border. Come on, there has to be more around here. Oh, yes! Yes, yes, yes! Yes! Let's go! Three diamonds. That's enough for a pick. I'll have to admit, I was losing hope, but now we're back in the game. Let's hope the nether gives us better luck than the overworld does. <laughs> but first, we shall return to the surface as the border has expanded once again. And look at this. Our trees have grown. More wood. I should probably move my composter too, right? Let's move the composter as well. Yo, I completely forgot we have a little farm down here. Let's grab the seeds from here. 13 seeds. Perfect. Plant, 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 plant. Let's make a little more bread because I'm getting hungry. At least food is no longer an issue. And then I guess we decide what to do today. What have I done here? What an idiot. Where's the water? Get to the water. No. <sighs> what do we do with this glorious day? Mm, I think we should start the day off with making a diamond pickaxe. I mean, that's a no-brainer. So that's cool. We finally got a diamond pickaxe. And then let's go ahead and grab all of this obsidian. And let's go ahead and build ourselves a nether portal. I'm going to have it face this way. And I think I'll go like this. And we'll build up like that. And start building another portal here. We have loads of obsidian, so we can make a decently sized portal. I think that is pretty big. Let's add some pizzazz like this. Okay, cool. Yeah, that works. Let's use my shovel and make a bit of a path. There we go. And then we'll add a couple of torches then I'm going to need flint and steel. Do I have any flint is the question. Uh, I have gravel, so that's fine. Let's store some of this stuff in the chest. Oh, we have loads of iron. Let's put that in the furnace. Grab that gravel. Hurry up and get some flint from you. Come on now, buddy. There we go. Let's grab a piece of iron. Make ourselves a flint and steel real quick. And we can light this bad boy up. Ta-da! Oh, did I miss some obsidian here? My bad. I'm gonna have to grab it, otherwise it'll bug me. There we go. Swap these cobblestone pieces out for dirt. Just looks nicer. It's gonna really bug me if I don't just make myself another shovel real quick. And just bap bap. There we go. Okay, sweet. I wonder, actually, what if I make some shears? Grab a bunch of these leaves. I promise I'll go in. I just, I have an idea and I want to try it out. So let's get all this. Add, like, some bushiness to the nether portal. Yeah, that actually kind of works, I'm not gonna lie. I think that, I think that kind of looks cool. It's kind of, like, messy, but, like, it adds, like, a... A very natural feel. Mmm. I gotta go hard or go home with this sort of thing. Like, it needs more. We gotta go crazy on this. Make it look a lot more bushy on the top. Oh, more grass. The border opened up, didn't it? Any seeds? Nope. Cool. And then let's put the last few leaves in the composter. 
There we go. Yeah, that looks a lot better than just a plain old portal, don't you think? One thing I did just notice is some of this wheat has grown. So let's grab the seeds. The rest is still growing there. Oh, I have bone meal. What am I, what am I doing here? Let's get these all grown so we can hurry up and get rid of this. And move it all up here. Put the seeds in there. There we go. So we've got seeds and saplings, which I should probably replant. Oh no, I've gone through all of my bread. No way, I've eaten all that. Oh, wait, the border opened up, right? Yay, we get more access to hay. Just what we need. Grab this. Okay, cool. Seven hay bit. Whoa, whoa. Look at the mobs down there. That is absolutely insane. It's like, I've basically got a mob farm down there. We've got to cover that up real quick. There we go. Uh, what was I doing? Ah, yes, the hay bales. So, a stack of wheat. Yes. Yes. Give me all that bread. 21 bread. Amazing. Munch that up. Let's get organized very quickly. So let's stick the saplings in there. I mean, the leaves can go in the composter. Let's go back to the other chest and sort the rest. We don't need any of this. We'll grab the iron. Keep that on me. We have gold. Oh, oh, oh. Before I head into the nether, actually, I might make some gold boots so I don't get attacked by piglins. We have an iron pickaxe but I'm tempted to make another one of those. Oh, no, 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 I have a diamond pickaxe. I'm an idiot. That's absolutely fine. Okay, well, let's go ahead then. Use these iron pieces just to go ahead and make myself a full armor set before I head into the nether. There we go. I have food. I have torches. I have my tools, a shield. I definitely need a better sword. That would be great. Let's grab this gold, make ourselves some gold boots and swap those out just temporarily before I go into the nether. Let's... Do I have any spare iron? No. <laughs> well, guess we make another stone sword. And let's head into the nether as the sun sets. Here goes nothing. Please be something good. I'm nervous. Oh, no way. No. The border affects me in here. This has to be a joke, right? That sucks, bro. I really thought I was going to be able to explore. Oh, well. Well, let's see what we have then. Some mushrooms, some gold. Let's grab all of this. Of course, nether quartz, which I'm not going to turn down because it doesn't matter if there's a border or not. I love that twinkle. Any sign of a fortress nearby would be nice. It's not looking good, if I'm honest with you. At least we have another type of block I can grab, which is easier to mine, just in case I need some emergency building materials. But really, I'm not going to be able to get much done in the nether until this border opens up even more. This border is proving to be an absolute pain in my backside. Let's head back into the overworld. Home sweet home. Villagers are just around the corner. This border needs to hurry up, bro. It is evident that this challenge is proving to be a little more difficult than I expected. However, if we zoom out a little bit and evaluate the progress we've made so far, it is pretty impressive. We're making this tiny little space look quite cozy and comfy to live in. Now, the nether situation is going to be slightly difficult, but I have a feeling I'm going to use it for some sort of storage build. I will utilize the space that is being granted to me. Speaking of using up the space, let's create an even bigger area so we can grow more wheat and more trees. Which would be possible if I didn't have phantoms attacking me. This is so annoying. I need a bed so bad. Oh, come on. Where's my shield? Let's get rid of you two. Where are you? So annoying. Come on, come fight me. What is wrong with you? There we go. Come on, show me what you got. Are you stupid? Is, are you for real right now? Uh, you are. You're stupid, aren't you? There we go. Oh, it's just too annoying. I'm just gonna wait until morning. Okay, the phantoms are gone. It's a new day. The border is opened up and I can now work on building a bigger farm. As you can see, it's going to go over the top of pretty much everything. Uh, I hope this works. You know what? I think it needs to go here. Maybe even up one more. Yeah, let's do that instead. I hate myself. I should have just committed to this. But because I want it to look good, I'm going to chop all this down and move it up one. So let's go ahead and remove this entire line of slabs. And there goes my axe. I hate my life. All right, let's just go ahead and fill all these slabs in. Oh, this is unbearable. I can't get anything done with these guys. This is taking me like a day longer than it should. Just because of you. You're making me tear through my bread. I can't. I'm gonna die. I need to go back inside. I gotta wait for the storm to pass. So annoying. Once the phantoms disappeared, I finally got to work finishing the platform. All right, wonderful. Now we just need to fill the upper level with dirt as it's going to be an extension of the farm, which means I'm gonna have to do a lot of digging. So do I have any shovels? No, let's make a bunch of shovels real quickly. Where's my crafting table? Here it is. Let's make two or three shovels. Yeah, I think that should be more than enough. Cool. And then I think what I'll do is I'll head down one level. Where can I grab soil? I didn't think this through. Ah, and it's raining again. Oh, we have lightning. That's not good. Oh, no. Imagine. Wait a second. Imagine 
lightning strikes and burns this whole thing down. I might actually cry. It's a risk we're gonna have to take. Let's head underground. Let's maybe like dig down here and then we'll dig this hole. I can't see a thing. I, I'm, I need a torch. Give me torch, please. I'll borrow it from you. That's better. Right. Let's grab all this dirt. At the end of the day, I'm the only person who knows that the floor is missing. So it's going to look so funny because from up there, you're going to have no idea that I just completely destroyed one layer down. Nobody has to know. Nobody has to know. There's also some coal down here, which is pretty neat. We'll grab that. Twinkle, twinkle, little coal. I am mining in this hole. Let's keep grabbing this dirt. Are you having fun? Because I'm having fun. And my first shovel broke, but luckily we brought extra ones. Let's speed this up and grab all of this dirt. Now we can finally go ahead and fill all this in with dirt, which is going to take me a little while. This whole process is totally worth it because we now have so much space to grow food and trees. I'm hoping I have enough dirt. I have like, what, six or seven stacks, which I think is going to be more than enough. If it isn't, I can just go back down underground, but surely... After all that, it's enough. The border has opened up another block. The one thing I will also add is that I think Jerry has returned and brought friends, which is great news. I just need Jerry to come over to the border once again. They do keep wandering a little closer, but then they go off that way. So I think I'm going to have to try and lead them in with some wheat, which we shall do all in due time. Due course, due time. I don't know. What am I saying? I do feel like this border has made me go slightly insane. The game is, of course, built around the idea of exploration, and I can't do that at all. So it certainly is a challenge. I've just realized I'm going to go through some serious hoes on this. Like, look how much dirt I'm going to have to hoe up. I'm going to have to head down to the crafting table and get a bunch of hoes. More hoes than I've ever had before. And the hoes in this border don't come cheap. They're going to cost a lot of resources. Nearly there. Come on. How much more? Oh, I lied. Not nearly there. Well, at least I haven't got phantoms bothering me this time. Should probably leave some pockets for water as well. I don't actually know the distance it needs to be. If you're enjoying this video, comment below. Say, yo, coffee. I don't care that you play like a noob. I like your videos, bro. I like you, bro. And, and I'll reply. I'll say I like you too, bro. Because we're all about positivity in this community. The CFG loves love. It's important to spread positivity every waking moment. Unless it's phantoms. They can go to hell. Really? Rain again? That is kind of annoying now, Minecraft. I wouldn't mind it if it didn't just pierce my eardrums. I'm out of dirt. Are you kidding? You're kidding. I'm like missing like 20 pieces. Kill me. <gasps> Wait, I think I can fill the gap by doing this. <laughs> this might actually work. We'll make these holes. It's annoying me that they're not like in order, but who cares? By the time the wheat's grown, you won't even see the holes. There we go. Is that enough? I need 12 more. 12 more pieces of dirt. We'll grab it from here and uh, here and here and here. Okay, now I'm just, now I just feel like I'm being counterproductive. I'm just destroying all of this. That'll do. And there we go. They can be two more water holes. All right. Ow. Oh, there's a creeper there. Ah, I haven't eaten. You can tell I'm panicking. That was close. Wow. Cheeky little creeper. Let's chew my food. Let's... Uh... Do I have cobblestone? Yeah, and I have sticks. Let's make a bunch of hoes. Yeah, that'll do. Um, and then- what? Oh, bro, no, 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 no. Where did you come from? Where did you come from? You can stay here. No, do you stay in the border? How did you get in here? He can't leave. It looks like he can't leave. Can I push him out the border? No. Oh, this is great news. I did not see this coming so early on. Don't go anywhere. Um, oh, I need a bed so bad. Okay, so if you can't leave the border, that means Jerry couldn't leave the border. That means Jerry's down here somewhere. Did Jerry die? Is that what happened? I'm sorry, Jerry. I'm, I'm sorry you died. If that's what happened, I'm sorry. Guys, uh, rest in peace, Jerry, in the comments for me. <gasps> Wait, what are you doing? Oh, okay. This is great. Okay, amazing. I really, really need a bed for you, don't I, buddy? But I just don't know how I'm going to get enough string to do it. Not even a mob farm could save us. I need a sheep. I know there's sheep around here. I've seen them around. But that is just too much to ask. Let's get all of these holes filled in with water. And then let's hoe this baby up. All right, now that's done. Let's try and do something with this villager. I don't know how this works. I think I need to make you a bed before I can do anything, if I'm honest. Oh, oh, okay. hang on a moment. We have a wandering trader. Hello there. Where is he? Oh, hey, buddy. What are you selling? Absolutely jack. All right, let's get you a job. So, hmm. Come with me. I think I can grab this composter and employ you. 
Is that how this works? Yes. But you need to sell me wheat. Otherwise, you are useless to me. Perfect. Quite expensive. Not terrible. Now, I need you to get up there. Can you do that for me? Oh, actually, before I do anything, I got to lock in the trades. And to lock in the trades, we got to grab this wheat. Let's grab all this. It's like nine pieces. That is that is an abomination. Uh, I'm just going to grab all the seeds from here, actually. 36 seeds. That's a good start. Start planting up there. Mm -mm -mm. How do we get you up there, my friend? Oh, wait. Jerry, 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 yes, yes. Oh, what is happening right now? This is amazing. Oh, the return of the phantoms again. I honestly can't catch a break with you guys. Jerry, come in here. Jerry, Jerry, get through the door. Jerry, Jerry, come on, you're smarter than this. Jerry, come in here. Nice. I need to make space for the door. Okay, this is amazing, Jerry. Now, I, I mean, I don't know if you are Jerry. The Jerry I know was smarter than you, but maybe you could prove yourself. But I'll be completely honest, I, I think the actual Jerry's dead. But who cares? New Jerry. Uh, I will say, though, the phantom situation is unbearable. Uh, you know what? I can't really... I, yes, I need to trade the wheat, but I need food more than I do trades right now, so sorry. I'm gonna have to do that. Oh, you guys are insufferable. I hate you so much. I don't know why it's raining constantly. All the time. I just need to find a way to get the villager up to the top. Uh, I hate phantoms so much. Wait, what? Who's opening doors? Who do you think you are, bro? No, don't go in there. Don't go in there. Uh, <laughs> of course, of course the phantoms are going to follow me into the nether. Look at him. There's no way, bro. No way. I can't escape you. Die. There we go. Um, yeah, dude, you need to get back into the overworld. Thank you. The llamas can stay here, right? I don't care. Okay. And the storm has passed. Cool. And the sun is setting. So the phantoms are going to come back anyway in like five minutes. So I need to make this quick. Where is the villager? Where are you, bro? There you are. You good, bro? What are you, what are you looking at? You just watching the sunset right now? Bro is really just appreciating life. Let's break bread, my man. Let's do business. There you go, that's for you. And if you want more, follow me. He doesn't want to follow me, does he? I need one more villager and I need one more cow and then I can get to work breeding. But I felt like that was like a whole lot of nothing. So let's get back on the somethings and get back up here and plant a load of these seeds. And then I need to grab a load of saplings and plant those too. Let's place all these down. I don't actually have that many, but it's going to be a good start. Plant, plant, plant. Any more? Nope. Okay. Um, I always forget about this patch down here. So this is cool. Let's grab this. More seeds. And while we're at it, let's grab the saplings from here. And let's just place these saplings randomly like this. And then we'll just place these seeds all over. But this is, this is great, actually. Although it does feel like we've just done... What I did for the last 10 days, but again, but bigger. Which I guess is all I can do. But with this huge space and the increase in resources, we'll get a bunch more wood and then I can really start building. Because I eventually do want to get a villager hall and all that stuff, so... I'll tell you what I do need, though, is a bed. And it's raining again. I swear there's something wrong with this world. It's just it's just constantly raining. At least we don't have phantoms, which... Is <gasps> what is that? Oh, no! Bro! Bro! That's a sheep! No, he can't see me. Sheep, no. Come this way. There's a cow over there as well. <gasps> yes, come this way. Yes. Oh, no. Sheep. No. Are you hungry, bro? I have I have wheat. He can't see me, can he? That is so depressing. If he just turned around, he would see me. <gasps> yes. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Yes, bro. Look. Look, I'm right here. Can you see me? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Oh. Eat that. I love you. Uh, do I have shears? You are getting blocked in, dude. I'm so sorry about this. No, in there, you fool. I gotta block this guy in. I can't waste this opportunity. I have shears, I have shears, I have shears. I'm gonna shear the hell out of you. Oh, oh, I can't tell you how relieved I am. I, I could actually cry. I I'm not actually joking right now. If you knew how happy I was right now, I wish you were as happy as me right now. I'm not joking. And the phantoms have returned. Great. But I don't actually care that much. I'm just pleased I can make a bed. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. What do you mean I can't sleep if there's monsters nearby? What do you mean by this? Why, why can't I sleep right now? What do you mean? Can I... Am I going to have to sleep under here? Okay, I can sleep under the farm. Amazing, 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 amazing. Ow, I hit my head. Let's put the bed back there. And you now have somewhere to sleep, which is great. Wow, this is amazing. Let's break all of this. Any extra seeds is appreciated. Cool. Probably feed you, keep you alive. Although, let's not forget about me. I am the main character right now, so munch, munch, munch. Sorry, wannabe Jerry. You need to stay in there for now. Okay, uh, let's finish... 
what we started and plant the seeds up here. We got our bed way quicker than I thought. You have no idea how long I just stood there and waited for that sheep to approach me. I thought he was never going to come into the border. So thank you, border, for granting me a little more good luck. Although you do constantly punish me with phantoms. Eat that piece of grass right there. Right now, boy. Right now. Eat it. Eat it and love it. And then I can make another bed for the older villager over here. Why are you not eating it? Over here. Yes. Mmm. Mmm, look how tasty that grass looks. Well, the border is really opening up now. Got ourselves a villager, a couple of animals. Things are- the ball is rolling. Things are getting juicy. What shall we do today? I think we should build you a home. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm sick of sharing a bed with you. So I think I'm going to build a home for you. And you know where I'm going to build your home, Mr. Villager? Underground. I think that's the best place for it. And whilst I'm making your house underground, I can get a bunch of ores whilst I'm at it too. This should kill enough time to really open up this border as well. So if I'm going to dig out all of the underground... Oh, hello, wannabe Jerry. Uh, I think I'm going to have to make a bunch more pickaxes because I don't want to go through my entire diamond pickaxe. So let's grab some cobblestone. Do I have wood? Do I have any wood left over? Oh, yes, I do. I'm just not looking my own inventory. Clear this up a little bit, grab a bunch of cobblestone, place some chests here, and then fill this with pickaxes. Oh, well, rather than fill it, I should probably put the pickaxes in my own inventory. I'm a bit of an idiot there, aren't I? We have almost a full inventory of pickaxes, which should be fine. I'll make shovels on the go. I have a crafting table in my inventory. So without further ado, let's find a spot to go underground. Start working on a nice big place for you. And it won't be just for you, though, will it, Mr. Farmer? It'll be for your friends, if I can get another one in here. And we'll get you a nice buddy to get down and dirty with. Y'all know what I mean. And by that I mean I'll be throwing potatoes at you, you'll put your nose in the other villager's face, and I don't know, you know what I'm trying to say here. I think my old entry point was, like, here, so let's try and find that. Where is it? I know it's around here somewhere. There we go. Aha! Oh, I didn't light this place up! I'm an idiot. I don't have any food either. Where's my torches? I'm an idiot for not lighting this place up. Oh, I hate, hate skeletons, man. Go away. Some bone meal. Well, it seems a lot of it is soil, so I made a lot of pickaxes for no reason, but I, I, I can dig down. Let's get to work. This is gonna take me a long time. I made some space pretty quickly, but before I add any more pizzazz, it's time to get the villager down here. See if he likes it. Yo, 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 there's a villager right there. This way. Come into the border. Wait. You are in the border. Whilst I was underground, I think a villager has made his way over to our home. Because you have... What's that? Is that armor? You're an armorer? A leather worker? I don't have anything you could have walked near to become that. So, you've definitely come from the village. That's cool. That's cool. It would be even cooler if you could just get inside the border. It'd make me feel a lot better. Oh! <gasps> Another cow. Another cow. Another cow. Go, 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 go. I need to get wheat. I need to get wheat. Can you see me, Mr. Cow? Oh, that's sad. Sorry, Jerry. We almost had a friend for you there. I'm evidently getting sidetracked. Let's grab a little more wool off of you. Thank you, buddy. And then let's lead this guy down into the home that we just built. Go on. Yep. Down to the hole. Yes. This way. Oh, wow. Okay. I did not light this place up. I keep making that mistake. Let's put some torches in here. Come this way. Mmm, tasty bread. I'm clearly not done with this yet. I obviously need to do a lot of stuff to it. But it would be nice if I could get both of you down there. I mean, I'm already lucky enough to have you here, so thanks for coming, but... I would be extra, extra happy if you just... Oh, bro. Let's grab this boat, and let's use the boat. Come on, get in the boat. Get in the... Get in the boat. The simplest thing to do here is to just break the floor beneath you. I don't have any name tags, but now you're both in a boat. You shouldn't despawn, right? Because if you do, I'm going to be very, very upset. I'll create some stairs at a later date. My main priority right now is just getting these guys down here. Let's break this boat, and you can roam freely down here. Now, what happened to the third piece of wool I had? Did I put that in a chest somewhere? Yes, I did. Let's place a crafting table, and we'll make ourselves a bed. Okay, cool. So you can go there. How is the sheep doing for wool? Let me grab my shears. Have you, have you made any more? You have. Give it to me. Don't worry, buddy. You'll be sleeping soon. I just need a little more wood to make the bed. And then we'll place that bad boy right here. And you can sleep too. It doesn't look like I can remove this guy's job. Because his source of income is from the village. So I can't do anything about that. But what I can do is breed them. Until I have enough iron to get some iron doors, I'm just going to use ladders. Okay, cool. So I can drop down here and all my villagers will be underneath. 
my home, inside the border, which I'm, I'm happy with at the moment. I obviously want to make it more fancy, but until I get enough iron to get doors to keep them down there, I don't want to take any risks. Let's break all of this grass, see if we can get any seeds. I may as well, but it doesn't look like that's going to be a thing. That's totally fine. That's okay with me. Let's clear up my inventory a little bit because it's doing my head in. The one thing I did gain from digging out those holes is a lot of sand, which is great. So at least we will have plenty of glass and of course dirt, which is always a bonus. Oh, nope, no way. I'm not having that. Let's see how my wheat is getting on. Okay, yeah, it's getting along quite nicely. So let's break all of this and grab the seeds. We've got a couple of stacks from this for sure. So let's go ahead and plant all of these. And then let's head underground here. Just use this crafting table to make a bunch of bread. Don't worry, wannabe Jerry. We'll get you a friend soon. Let's get some sleepy time and wait for this border to expand. What a beautiful morning. Another day within this treacherous border. Come on, guys. Why don't you make your way over here? I could definitely see these guys checking out the border. Like, they keep walking in my general direction, but not close enough for me to bribe them with bread like the other guy. But now I can understand how we ended up with villagers in the border because they just, they're just not content with where they are. They're just constantly exploring the village. And they're obviously curious why this exists. <laughs> the one thing I do wish would crawl a little closer is the cows. Because, look, they can see me but they can't see the bread. Come on, guys. Escape the Matrix. Come after the bread. All right. Let's go see how these villagers are getting on. How are you getting on, guys? You good? Oh, oh. I know why you're not going to make a baby. I'm such an idiot. I need to get more wool. What? Come on. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. There's not enough grass underneath it. Oh. Can I feed you wheat? Is that a thing? Okay. I feed you wheat. And I'll feed Jerry wheat just to keep you alive. Um, I think I don't really have much choice other than just to continue working on the house for the villagers. I might have to just give up my bed. I think that's what I'm going to have to do, isn't it? It's, uh, this is very sad, but I'm going to have to give up my bed. Rip. What? What? No! What are you doing? No! Ah, uh, he yearns for his family. Sorry, buddy. You walked in here. You can't get out. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, why are you like this? Honestly, get in the boat. All right. Come on, get in the boat. Let's do this process all over again. I love my life. Was it here? Is this... Yeah, okay. I'll just break this and you can fall down. There we go. To block all this in. Get out of the boat, idiot. Wait, why have you not got a job anymore? Just leave, leave the stairs alone. And you're not even a farmer anymore. Oh, no. You lost your job. All right, let me go and get your composter, Mr. Complainy. Grab that. Okay, so let's... Give you your job back, because I know how desperate you are to become a farmer again. There we go. Lovely. And uh, let's place my bed here. So now you guys, here you go, have some bread. You guys can do your thing. Hello. Come on now. Eat the bread. Come on, bro. Just eat the bread, please. I'm not in the mood today. This guy is protesting hard. What is, ro what is wrong with this guy? I have absolutely no idea. Um, he's running away from me. <gasps> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the bread. Right, there we go. I've even given you a third bed. Come on, guys. Make a baby. You know, you know what? Do what you want. I need to continue making this place look nicer. So let's grab a bunch of wood and continue doing what needs to be done. Let's go ahead and replace these walls that are horribly soily and stony with nice clean stone bricks and then break it up with wooden logs. And then let's go ahead and fill in the roof with slabs because I'm lazy and I don't want to remove the soil and replace it. Then let's go ahead and remove the floor and replace it with once again beautiful stone bricks. But I also noticed a bit of a problem. Uh, when the villagers get out of bed, they hit their head on the, the slab and it, it damages them. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to dig out a little area and then place all of of the beds there so when the villagers do start breeding everybody has somewhere to sleep safe and sound well that's not half bad and um, we have plenty of beds for plenty more villagers which i don't know if you guys saw on the replay mod we have an extra one off so welcome to the family buddy let me just finish this up real quick just make a crafting table grab ourselves some wood and then we'll make a couple doors do I have enough to make an iron door now? Oh, I don't know, that's so much iron wasted. I found a little iron and some diamonds whilst I was clearing out the floor, but it feels a shame to waste them, but if I don't put an iron door there, they're just going to keep climbing out, so... We make sacrifices. Uh, oh, I need to make a button as well, don't I? There we go. Right, let's slap down a 
couple of iron doors, and then we'll fill the sides in like this. Add the button. Oh, I'm an idiot. I need another button. There we go. Boop. Sweet. So they're not going anywhere. And then I can place my ladders. And that solves that issue. Oh, oh my. What the? That is so many mobs. Oh, that's a creeper. Oh my. Go, 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 go. Do not explode. Do not explode. What is going on here? Oh, no. They're going to break the door. They're going to break the door. Oh, oh, and I gave up my bed. I thought it was daytime. Is it just raining again? It is. It's just raining again. Wonderful. Uh, do I have any wool left? Uh, oh, I do. I do. I have wool. Oh, okay. It's not all bad. I can make myself a quick bed. And we can hopefully sleep through the storm. What? That looks pretty stormy to me, bro. Come on. Oh, I hate this game. Well, Jerry, it's just you and me stuck in here until the storm passes. Although, uh, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Oh, it feels like a waste. I can't. Do I waste diamonds and make a sword? Uh, I just don't know how many more diamonds are underneath, you know? Ah, uh, let's make a diamond sword. Oh, that feels criminal. You guys are probably going to hate me for that. All right, let's get out here and clear these guys out. Come here, you fiends. Die. Be wary of the creeper because... That creeper is chilling around here. There he is. Aha! Oh, thank goodness he was in the water. Oh, is that a wandering trader? He returns. Where's your, where's your friend? Where's the rest of you? Oh, I bet, I bet he's in the nether. Let's go check the nether real quick. Let's see if he brings any new trades. Any new trades, good sir? Oh, I took damage. Oh, oh my. I need to eat, otherwise I'm going to die. This is a joke. Really? In the nether? All right, let's clear you guys out and try not to hit the piglins. Okay, cool. There he is. Wait, where'd you go? Where'd he go? Am I going insane? He was literally right here, bro. Aha! You're running away from me. Ooh, gold. Oh, yes, of course. More of the nether has opened up. Bro, come back. What are we selling? Um, I think that's the same stuff as earlier. You're the same trader, aren't you? You've just been stuck in the nether. Let's go back into the overworld. Right, let's try and learn our lesson and place a bunch of torches to stop things from spawning. Let's head up top and check on the old crops. Oh, look at that. They're all grown. Let's break all these and hopefully get this whole thing filled with seeds. And then let's turn all of the wheat into bread. Oh, finally. <laughs> we have loads of food now. I feel like I've said that like a million times, but you have no idea this whole process has been a struggle. I will say though, I have noticed the border has really opened up. So it's give us way more space to build. Still no sign of any more animals, which is heartbreaking. Come on guys, just walk over here. As you can probably tell, it's been a very, very rinse and repeat process. It's literally like the border moves an inch and then you get more space and then you have to get food and then you have to survive. And it's just kind of like cyclical. Is that- that's a word, right? It's- it moves like a cycle. However, I feel like I want to change it up tomorrow. I think I should finally build a little place for my sheeps and my wannabe Jerry. I think it's unfair that Jerry's been stuck in my house and he can't move freely. And, I mean, this- this is just cruel on so many levels, but let's not talk about that. Let's get them a barn built. We'll get some wood and then we'll start working on a barn around here somewhere. What, what should we say? Here? I think here is a good place. Let's get to work. Let's make the barn nice and spacious and then I'm gonna add a little garden area so I can grow some grass here so at least the sheep can grow wool and then let's go ahead and build the top. I'm gonna go for a sort of viking look and then we'll add some gates so they can't escape. Mooha! <laughs> Alright, so I'm done with the barn. That looks pretty cool. I, I like that a lot. I love this little pond area that I built. I kept the lily pads here because I thought it adds to the whole uh, aesthetic. The grass is already filling in because I joined up with the grass box over here. So that's great. So when the sheep eats this, he'll grow wool. So the last ingredient is... Come with me, wannabe Jerry. Let's break this horrible contraption that kept you here. And grab you too. Come with me, guys. Yay, you finally have a big home. Wow, the border is really opening up. Come on, in here. All right, well, enjoy your new home, guys. I'm just going to place a crafting table randomly here because I'm definitely going to have to use it at some point. Uh, I feel like this is missing something. What is this missing? A chest. Yes, a chest. 
That's what it's missing. Just a simple chest. I can place it here so I can store things in here. Okay, cool. Alright, now we just have to wait for you to get friends. But this will do for now. I don't know where you've come from. You've definitely wandered. Can I put you on a lead? You're not into that, daddy? What if I have a random idea and it might work? Oh, this is good. This this could this could look good, I'm not gonna lie. Why don't we have like stairs that lead down here? This would make way more sense. Right, before I do anything there, I need to check where I'm digging from. Oh, that's perfect. What? This this was meant to be. Because this could be like a little doorway or something. Okay, great. Let's break this. And then let's grab the iron doors from down here. Perfect. Place these blocks here. But let's strip these. Ah, oh, that looks cool. Then we'll just finish up with adding stairs. And boom! Ah, oh, the villagers are having loads of babies. Good. Keep reading. Okay, this is much better now. That's so much better as well because I was just sick and tired of going down this hole over and over again. But I'm, I can keep this because we can put stuff in here. It's not completely pointless, but now it looks more like a thing. Like we can go down here and speak to the villagers. Look, I like that. Okay, cool. So barn for the animals. The villager home is pretty much done. My next step, I think, is going to be enchanting. I think that is probably the level that I'm at right now. Uh, I am going to go mining again at some point because I'm still in iron armor and it's like day 30 something. I don't even know at this point. But uh, I definitely need to upgrade my armor and get enchanting. So how are we for sugarcane? Okay. Yeah, that is not enough sugarcane to do anything with other than... <gasps> Wait, it might be just enough to make a lectern. I can give the lectern to one of the villagers and then they can trade bookcases with me. Okay, it's possible, it's possible. However, leather is going to be an issue as I only have one cow and that's you wanna be, Jerry. So I really need the cows to call over this way and I am getting clo- Wait a minute. <gasps> wait, wait, let me get some wheat, let me get some wheat. I think they're close enough to get the attention of you now. This might work. He seems pretty close. We both know you can see me. Look what I have. No, look the other way. Look the other way. It's the sheep all over again. No, don't walk away. Don't walk away, you idiot. I guess we'll try again tomorrow. What the? No. 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 I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Come with me. In here, please. How on earth did you get out? I've got to keep my eye on you. Oh! <gasps> wait! Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 come back, come back. Come back, come back, come back. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Yes, come here. What on earth? This, this is crazy. This, oh my god, oh my, oh my, oh my god. Yes. Yeah, how on earth has that happened? I, I'm lost for words. Genuinely, I don't know what to say. I do not know what to say. Thank you. There, I, there is a god in Minecraft. Thank you, Minecraft gods. You, you, that, come on. You, you've watched me for the last, I don't even, I've lost count of how many days. You lost, you watched me for the last whole video. Try and get a cow. And what, he just strolls on in here? This is a mate, mm, oh, oh, let me, let me virtually kiss you. Mwah, I love you. Mm, okay, I, I'm, let's stop there. Ah, oh, now we should get you a French sheep. But I don't really care because I can keep getting wool from you, but I can breed you. Oh, eat, eat, do your thing. Yay! Goodness gracious me, I'm getting overly excited at a block game. But when you're doing a challenge like this, every tiny win is just colossal. It's a miracle. I need to chill out, okay? I, now I can kill these guys, which is kind of horrible. But now I can kill you and get leather, and then we can get the ball rolling on enchanting. Woo! You thought you could keep me in here, did you? Oh, watch me, Minecraft. I'm gonna make you my little bit. Oh, we now have a golem. Hello, golem. <gasps> Wait, does that mean I can make an iron farm? We'll do that later. But in the meantime... Let's grab the sugar cane. Come to me, please, sugar cane. Oh, I'm running low on food. Let's make some paper. And then I'm going to plant the excess. It, that's obviously great there, but now I have a lot more water because the uh, border has been opening up. So let's just place all of this here and this will grow. Is that two golems? Do I have two golems? I do. I have two golems in the border now. Oh, I must have a lot of villagers down there then. Let's grab some more wheat. Let me plant these seeds and head down and feed our cows. Hello, riddle baby cow. Oh, you're so cute. I feed you this. Right. It's too soon to feed you, so I need to leave it a little while. Let's go check on villagers. How many of you do I have? 
A uh, fair amount. Not loads. So, here's some more food. You've just made yourself at home, haven't you, buddy? You need a name. You know what to do, guys? Give this little uh, freeloader a name. Not even paying rent. And you're dead. Should I charge you rent if you're already dead? I need to speak to my lawyer about this. So many babies running around. Okay, everything is running super smoothly, I have to say. I'm in a good mood. I'm just gonna kill some time so I can start really getting these cows going. And then we can get to work getting an enchantment table that's also level 30. Let's grab some sleep and wait for the border to expand. All right, it's a brand new day and look how close to the village we are. Eventually it will look like it's part of whatever this is. <laughs> so let's head up to the farm and we'll grab a bunch of wheat and see if the cows are prepped for breeding. Let's break all this and then turn all of this into bread. Oh boy, we have lots of bread. But I want to keep a stack to feed the cows. Sheesh, a stack and a half of bread. Would you look at that? Let's break this and replant the tree. How about that, huh? All right, cool. Do you reckon I can make that jump? Can I make that jump? <gasps> oh no. Oh, okay, I made the jump. Oh, look, the baby has grown. The baby has grown. I think that means I can kill you now, I'm sorry. Because I need the leather for books. Oh, oh, don't worry, I won't leave you out. Okay, cool, that's everybody fed, right? And then we'll feed you a little bit to speed you up. Let's stick the rest of this wheat in here. I feel awful about this, but you have to be the sacrifice. Sorry. All right, cool, so we have the leather. Let's place the paper, let's place the leather. Okay, we've got a book. Now, to make a lectern, I need a bookcase, which I think is three books and oak planks. So, I need two more pieces of leather, which I will grab in a moment. In the meantime, I think I might do a little mining trip, see if we can get some more diamonds. And it has been a long time since I've gone mining, and this border has opened right up. So, let's dig down here. We'll pick a new spot and head down. Hey, look at that. Already, we're getting ores. It's been a hot minute since I've mined, so it's kind of nice to hear that twinkle. And there's the water again. <gasps> is that iron? Ooh, 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 ooh. No, the border is there. <laughs> That's, what a tease. Look, you can't see the border in the water, and you jump in, and it's there. Reminding you that you can't leave. But we won't let that stop us. Let's keep heading deeper and deeper in our hunt for diamonds. Okay, I've found a little cave. And of course, it's filled with skeletons which are attacking each other. Little redstone, we'll grab you, which I might need for farms. Let's keep heading down from here. Come on, diamonds, don't be shy. I can hear a zombie, so I think I'm near a cave. Let's keep going, hopefully, uh... Oh, I'm hearing multiple zombies, actually. Oh, 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 what? It's a mine shaft. Oh, wait, then there's the zombie, there's the culprit. Hello, friend. Ah, oh, okay, cool, so as the border opens, we have access to a mine shaft. I was not expecting that. Let's grab these diamonds. Let's remove this. Is it a big vein? What are we talking? Two, is that it? Is that all we're getting? Okay. All right, two's better than zero. Let's keep looking. Okay, I've been strip mining for a pretty long time and I think I've pretty much grabbed all of the diamonds I think I'm gonna find in this area because we found quite a lot and there's only so many that can generate in a chunk, am I right? I, I, I don't know the exact numbers, but I'm going to assume that I've pretty much grabbed all the diamonds I can for now because I have mined everywhere. I just want to go above ground now. <laughs> so let's get out of here and see if these guys are ready to do the old breeding. Where's the wheat? Hello, yay, do you think? Amazing. Baby one, is there a fourth one around here? No. I think what I'm going to do is wait for this guy to grow and then the rate in which I'm producing cows will double because I'll have four cows and then I can go ahead and start doing what I need to do to get leather. I don't, I don't want to say it because they can hear me. In the meantime though, whilst we wait, we can go ahead and craft a fo- I just watched a villager go into the nether and it was a child. It was a child. Child, no, go, no, no, what are you doing? This is a terrible idea. Come on, little guy. Back home. This is not the place for you. This is, this is not safe. We'll call this a character building exercise. I'll come back and grab you tomorrow, okay? Have a great day, son. He's definitely not going to make it, is he? Okay, as I was saying, uh, let's make... How many diamonds? Yeah, I have loads of diamonds. So, let's store my... Ooh, I have so many resources from where I went mining. Uh, let's stick this in the chest. Strip off. 
And then we'll go ahead and make ourselves some diamond armor. This is quite nice, I have to say. About time, it's probably what you're thinking. And then my little boots. Boom. Full set of diamond armor. Some diamond tools and a diamond sword. Pretty cool. And we have some diamonds left over, so let's put that in the chest. And head back over to the cows. Hey guys. Come on. Come on, little guy. Grow. Well, I suppose whilst we wait, we could build somewhere where I'm going to put the enchantment table. Oh, I want to still remain productive with my time. Let's go ahead and do that. Where shall we build? Here? I I'm liking, like, this area. This seems very open. Okay, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's... What the... <laughs> what the... What is this? Bro, where are you going? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Hold on a second. That has to be the funniest thing that I've <laughs> have ever seen in this game. <laughs> okay, I'm, ge <laughs> I'm genuinely laughing right now. Come down, bro. Okay, I think he's reached his limit. Oh, I have tears in my eyes. All right, let's get to work. I'm thinking I want to kind of go down a level. I think that would be quite cool. Let me see how big I want this to be. Uh, break this. Let me just head over to the crafting table real quick and make myself some stairs. And then let's place these stairs around here. Oh, I just need a few more. Who know my mentor? Oh, the cows have fully grown. Is that four cows I have now? Oh, jolly good. All right, let's feed all of you. And you make more baby cows. And I'll make some more stairs. We'll open this area up. And the idea is that the enchantment table will go in the middle. And then like a roof on it kind of thing. I, I kind of want it to be like out in the open. I don't want it to be like inside a building because I've done a lot of like underground stuff and obviously there's a house there, but yeah, I think having an open plan sort of setting will look really great because as the border opens up, this will all look part of the village. So it won't look too out of place. Now I just need to check I'm doing this right. Uh, I'm stupid. I need to open this up one more. Sorry, Mr. Gollum. You're kind of in my in my way. I, I don't want to accidentally hit you, so let's clear this bit up. One, two, three, the middle. One, two, three, and then we'd place stairs along here. Okay, and I think I want to go down one more. Like this. Let me just see real quick. All right, let's remove these. While I'm removing these, I just want to ask you guys, do you like this style of video? I know my second channel is popping off right now with my zombie video, which I can't thank you guys enough for watching. And if you haven't seen it, go head over and go watch it because it's really great. Um, well, you guys say it's really great. I, I mean, I thought it was okay. I, I survived 100 days in zombie apocalypse, but you guys seem to love it. But I was just wondering, would you guys prefer the modded stuff or do you guys still enjoy watching me in these sort of vanilla challenges? Like vanilla world with a slight modded challenge or full mod pack? CFG style, you know the deal. You guys gotta tell me because I'm curious. I will make exactly what you guys want. Okay, I like this. This looks pretty cool. The enchantment table can be here with all the books around it. Let's go ahead and replace all of this dirt with wood. Then let's add some pillars around this bad boy. And then let's go ahead and stick a roof on this cool little build. All right, I like it. I like it. It's, it's, uh, it's, ooh. Is that, that that's creepers. I have a bunch of creepers that have spawned. Uh, hopefully they should stay away. Where's the cat? There's a cat around here somewhere. The cat should keep the creepers away. Or is that phantoms? Or both? It should be both. Please be both. Where's the cat? Where's the cat? Go away. I'm trying to talk about the build I just did. Oh, okay. Okay, as I was saying, I like it. The enchantment table is going to go here. And then we'll put some, like, bookshelves in the wall. Ta-da, guys. I did a little thing here. Although, um, I need to... Swap this out. As you can see, my shovel's broken. And look, guys, I made it so I can get to the villagers from here, which is pretty cool. And speaking of villagers, I have loads of them. Plenty of potential workers. Oh, you're not meant to sell me potato. You're meant to sell me wheat. What's going on here? There we go. Okay, 20 wheat is an emerald. Cool. So then I can build bookshelves. Okay, before we... Oh! Really? What on earth? Uh, oh, this guy's wandered into the border. I guess that's more likely to happen now because we're really in the middle of the village. What are the chances you sell me bookshelves? Oh, what on earth? <laughs> no! I don't want you to sell me bookshelves because that just completely renders the entire process I've put myself through pointless. You know how excited I was to get cows? Because then the cows gave me the leather and then I could make the lectern. Then I could make you. You seem stressed, so I'm, gonna, I'm not going to deal with you. I'm going to continue with my plan. 
sorry guys. I've put too much effort into this now, into getting cows and feeding them, and I need to make sure I do things my way. So, speaking of that, I'm really sorry, Mr. Cow. Goodbye. Okay, so that's three leather we have now. Let's go and grab the sugar cane real quick. It's over here. Look at all this. It's all grown. Nice. Let's grab all this. We'll plant the excess because we're not going to need all of it. And we can continue tracing it along here. I definitely want to build something here. I feel like this has been neglected, so I'll think of something. Three paper and a leather makes a book. Three paper and a leather makes a book. And three paper and a leather makes a book. So that's... Oh, I have four books now. My bad. So let's go and grab some wood from up here. I have the tree... I keep replanting the trees up here. So let's go and grab... Oh my god. I almost died. Where's my bread? Imagine that's how I die. Imagine that's how I fail the challenge. Let's make a bookshelf. And then we'll make a lectern. Let's go down here and place a lectern by one of these beds. Yeah, you know you want the job. Okay, you sell bookshelves for nine emeralds, and then... And then you sell me wheat for emeralds. So, I need a lot of wheat. Uh, look at you all. Make babies. Let's grab all of this, and then I can trade it for emeralds, which is going to be great. And then we'll make ourselves an enchantment table and enchant my armor. Woohoo! So, as you can expect, the next few days were a bit of a grind. I've sped it up for you guys. I was collecting a bunch of wheat, I was grabbing the sugar cane, I was feeding my cows, and as the border was expanding, I even managed to get my hands on some more hay bales, so it speeded up the wheat process just a little bit. It's crazy just how far we've come inside this border. Alright, let's head down here and start trading with you to see how many emeralds we can get. Three, six, nine, twelve... 14 emeralds. It's not a lot, but let's see. Okay, and then we know it's nine, so... Hmm, just as I expected, even though I collected a bunch of wheat, this trading process is going to take far too long. Obviously, trading is going to take a very long time. We're going to have to keep breaking the wheat, speaking to the villager, then buy the bookcases. But I'm thinking I actually have enough sugarcane and cows now to start doing this manually, just to make enough bookcases to uh, upgrade the enchantment table. Because, look, there's so many babies in here. Let's, let's go around the other side. And just start getting some leather. Actually, I have an idea. Let's make the enchantment table, which is a book, two diamonds, and a bunch of obsidian. Boom. And let's slap this down here. Right there. Okay. Um, oh, blue lapis. I know I have blue lapis kicking around somewhere. Cool. Let's head back over here and see if I can get looting. Ah, oh, that's annoying. That would have been really handy if I could get looting. I mean, we may as well get sharpness. May as well enchant something. Uh, Gollum has made his way in with the cows. Well, let's resume and hope that I get enough leather from these guys. Let's break this hay bale, turn it into wheat, and start doing what needs to be done. Keep making babies, guys. Yes, thank you so much. Okay, right, let's kill a few of these guys. Let's get all the leather from you. And let's turn all my sugar cane into paper. Lay my paper down on my leather. Then we'll make a bunch more bookcases. He has five bookcases. We need like 10 more bookcases. Sometimes I forget just how long the entire process takes. <laughs> well, first of all, we'll break this part of the wall. Put some bookcases there. And then we can place two more there. And then we can place one here. And I'm pretty sure they'll all start talking to- Oh yeah, cool. Whilst I wait for the cows to grow, I really want to take advantage of this swamp. Because as you can see, as the borders opened up, we're like breaching into a swamp. And I really want these vines. Because I think they'll look really nice around the enchantment table build. Let's grab these. Let's put one there. Nice. I think that'll really add to it. You know what? Let's add some vines to the inside. Ooh, yeah. That could look quite cool, actually. Another great thing about having cows is I now have a completely different source of food. I have beef. Buff. Roar buff. We have so many villagers down here now. Look, look how many babies we have. They seem happy. Everybody seems happy. Let's give up my bread. I don't need the bread anymore. Now everything's going smoothly. We're breaching into the village now. Like, deeply. So we're going to be seeing a lot more villagers wander in and out. Well, <laughs> wandering in. Definitely not out. Soon I'll be fully enchanted. We'll have some sort of build here. I'm thinking iron farm. That's what I'm thinking here. But we'll see. Let's get some sleep. And let's go check out the nether. Because the border in the nether has really expanded now, I assume. So let's see if there's any more we can get our hands on. All right, let's head in. There's so many iron golems everywhere. I have iron golems here. 
I am gone into the overworld. I mean, this is perfect because they just keep me protected in here. Look at this. This is perfect. Oh, they, they go after the piglins as well. Preferably, I'd, I'd like it if you didn't do that, guys, because they trade. You look a little worse for wear, bud. Right, let's do a little exploring what we got here. Let's just grab a bunch of netherrack, just in case. And then let's go up. Let's see if there's anything interesting above us. I mean, I'm praying for a bastion or something, but we know that's not going to happen. <laughs> oh, some gold. Nice. Uh, I'm still digging and still nothing. This is crazy. You're telling me there's like nothing here? Oh, oh, okay. Hello. Oh, there's a ghast. Huh. Oh, sorry. I don't want to kill you. I kind of like having you around. Can we not talk about this, please? I don't think I'm going to have a choice, am I? Ah, fine. You did this to yourself. Um, there's not much up here either, is there? Just gold. Oh, glowstone. Glowstone, yes, please. Oh, lava as well. I might grab a bucket of that, because I'm going to need that for the iron farm. Ah! Ah! Another one. Well, now I don't feel so bad about killing them, because you're just going to keep spawning, aren't you? Can I grab the lava from here? Hey, there we go. There's another ghast, but he's sleeping. Let's see if I can get across without waking him up. I just want some glowstone, because it looks cool. I don't have silk touch, so I'm going to have to be very, very careful. Oh, it's so bright. My eyes. Well, safe to say the nether doesn't really offer much, does it? Yep, doesn't look like the nether's offering too much. Just, uh, more nether, so... Let's head back home. And finally finish enchanting. Oh, there's the little guy. What the? There's so many cows. Ah, you all grew up. Ah, let's grab the sugar cane, and I'm pretty sure we'll have enough now to- Oh! There's no escaping these guys. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. I'll deal with it in the morning. I'm so sorry. Alright, I'm pretty sure I finally now have enough. Finally, let's get this bad boy to level 30. Place that like this. Cool. So that works. I think I'm gonna make a crafting table. Place that down here. And then I'm gonna make a couple of little chests just to tuck away in the back here. Cool. Yay, we finally have a level 30 enchantment table. That took so long. Um, I don't have a lot of blue lapis, so I'm thinking, and I also need levels, so I need to get XP from the nether. That's a fast way of getting XP. And blue lapis underground, so let's speed run that real quick. All right, now that's out of the way. We can go ahead and enchant our armor. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see what we're getting. I'm breaking three and five protection. Okay, cool. I'll take that. Protection three and I'm breaking three on the chest plate. We'll love to see it. I'm breaking three. Cool. And then, oh, okay. I don't actually have those levels break quickly, but I guess we're going to have to go with I'm breaking two and protection two, which isn't terrible. So let's shove that armor straight back on. And then we may as well enchant the, uh, oh, I only need four more levels and I can get efficiency four. <gasps> oh, no, my mentor. Okay, I'm ready. Now that I have level 30, let's go ahead and enchant my pickaxe with efficiency. Yay, let's go. Okay, let's stick the rest of my blue lapis in here. Look at this, we're inside the border. But here I am with fully enchanted diamond armor with a diamond pickaxe and a diamond sword. I don't think I'm gonna get a chance to get full diamond tools unless, although the border has opened up a lot, we could do a mining trip later on. But now I think I'm gonna make a iron farm because I would love lanterns. Like, I'd love to just dash lanterns everywhere. I think they look really nice. And, well, it's probably one of the only farms I can actually get done within this border. So, I think I'm going to build something here that incorporates that. So, let's grab some sleep. And tomorrow, we shall get to work. Now, I'm pretty sure I have everything to build the iron farm, except I need a name tag. Uh, that seems to be the crucial thing I'm missing. Everything else I can make... I've used up all of my resources to make hoppers and the uh, piston. It's just the name tag. So, now if you guys remember, there was a mine shaft below us and the borders opened up quite a lot. So, I just need to remember which way it was I headed down. All right, I'm pretty sure it was down here somewhere. Yes, because this is where the skeletons were. Oh, you could feel me panic then. Uh, yes, I, I believe it was down here. Let's see... If we can find a minecart in this bad boy. Well, you can see I've completely ransacked this place of ores. Um, ah, I'm lost. Okay, back to the mine shaft. Oh, having efficiency is so nice when you're mining deep slate. All right, let's try and find that chest. 
Sorry. Whoa, you have thick armor on. Okay, we're at the border. Is there a chest down there? Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, we got diamonds. We got... Oh, it's one diamond. Hey, look. What? Oh, oh, and another one. Oh, and another one. Is that it? Is it just the three? Oh, that's amazing. That means I can make a diamond axe or even another diamond pickaxe, actually. Oh, if I could just find a few more diamonds. Um... Okay, not looking good, not looking good. Oh wait, no, it goes up another level. Let's try this way. Oh, there's iron, can I reach it? No, curse you border. What if I break through and see if we can find more? What if there's more of the mine shaft I haven't found yet? What? Yes, we finally found, <gasps> yes, yes. Okay, coal, a name tag, bread, um, pumpkin seeds. I mean, I don't need pumpkin seeds. Let's make our way back. What the? We are very, very, very lucky there was a mine shaft in this border. I mean, I think you might still be able to make the iron farm without a name tag. I just think the zombie would die. I'll find out in a moment when I'm using Shocker Crafts tutorial. Hello, skellies. <gasps> Gold. I can't believe how many diamonds we found in that mine shaft. It's crazy how the border opens up a little and just how much more unlocks. Ah! All right. <gasps> and breathe. All right, now we have the name tag. Let's get to work building the iron farm. The first section of the iron farm is pretty straightforward. You place down a piston that's going to push the zombie up and down. Then you place a few redstone repeaters. Then you build a little case where you're going to store the villagers in that will then spawn the golems above. All right, now we have this section done. I... Ah. 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 I'm trapped. Ah! So now we have this contraption done. I need to get the villagers up into there so they can sleep in those beds. Ah, yes. I can see you're already eyeing up the beds up there, huh? Well, I'm going to struggle to get you up there without rails. Oh, what are you doing? So, uh, I think I'm gonna have to hop back into that mine shaft and just grab all the rails that were there. And then we'll just kill golems for iron to make the mine cart. Let's make this quick. Oh yeah, the border's open now so I can get hold of this iron. <laughs> what? There's no way. This looks so sus. Like, I'm not even joking. This mine shaft was just absolutely rammed with diamonds. I I've never seen so many diamonds in one mine shaft. What seed is this? That's insane. 11 diamonds in one mine shaft. I didn't even think that was possible. Let's grab those rails and head home. Ah! Ah! Okay. More rails. Ah. Border, please. Open up. I need those rails. I guess I'll just go back and kill a bunch of golems for their iron. I just thought this would be a less risky way of getting rails. <laughs> now I have everything ready. Um... Hello, it's time to get a villager into that minecart. And also, the border is going to open up again, I think, any moment now. I, I think I'm going to need to sleep, actually, first. I need to wake you all up. Who wants to... What? Monster's nearby. What? Get some sleep. And, uh... All right. Who wants to come with, hey? This is going to be impossible. Um... You know what's really funny is... You guys would just escape on your own, but the one time I actually need you to get out of here... I bet you don't. So let's see if I can get these villagers. Hello, Mr. Villager. Would you like this meat? You want this meat? Oh, wow. Look, we're getting more of the village. That's so funny. Okay, this is gonna uh, drive me insane. Let's try the boat method. Get in the boat. Yes. Let's make this and break this sand. Let's put the dirt in here and then turn that into a path. Okay, finally. Right. Come on, let's get you to the minecart. This this is actually going to drive me insane, isn't it? Yeah, get into the minecart. Can you do that for me? No, 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 no. Get into the minecart. That new tactic. Yes, okay. Let's try it this way. <laughs> oh, this is going to be torture. We have to go little by little. Let's try grabbing this piece and, and pushing... Yes. Yes! We're gonna grab you three. Okay, this is working, this is working. Okay, I'll push you up here. Yes! Okay, <laughs> it's actually working. We'll push you up. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. No, no, you have to go up here. I have to keep pushing you. Come on now. Up the... the rails. No! 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 I hit my life. Right. Let's try that again. I need to do this with as minimal momentum as possible. Oh my goodness gracious me. 
This might actually work. Okay, okay. Oh, all right. That's one. Two to go. It took forever to get these villagers in their little box to the point I was beating these guys up so the iron columns started trying to kill me. I was like running from all of them at once. Oh, this has to be a joke. All the golems want to kill me. What is this? I'm just trying to get the villagers up there, bro. Please. Oh, goodness. I feel like I'm speed running. <gasps> ah! At least I'm getting iron from you. So I can make more rails if I need. Obviously, these guys know that I killed them to get the rails. You sussed me out. So now they're all angry. Let's take him out. Some more iron. Cool. Right. Let's, uh... You're not gonna try and kill me, are you? Okay, cool. Get away from my house. After ridiculous amounts of time, I finally managed to push the third villager in the minecart, up the rails, and into his tiny little prison. <laughs> Yay! We got three villagers! Captured! No thanks to you guys, stupid golems. We're far from over though, the next step was to place a bunch of hoppers and build the second layer of the farm. This is where the golems will spawn. And then I need to make a staircase so I can get a zombie up there, so I can alert the villagers. Alright, so I'm all set for the zombie. He'll follow me up here. And then I need to get a name tag ready. Um, so I just need to wait for it to get dark. And uh, remove some of these torches so that zombies will spawn. I'll probably end up with a bunch of zombified villagers as well because a lot of them got out so I could get them up there But now they're just kind of chilling all over the place But it's not like they can leave because they're stuck in the border. Look at them all. Look. I like It's like I have a whole community in this border now. It looks kind of cool. I'm, I'm loving it. The fact that now I'm part of the village It just the whole thing just feels really nice I've got my barn with my cows. I've got my little enchantment area. The vines have made it look really nice, by the way. Look at that. Man, it is crazy, isn't it? We started in a one-by-one one border. I could barely move. And now, look. There's like a whole village. We've got farms and golems everywhere. Thank you for your iron, by the way. I appreciate it. Who knows where we're going to be by the end of all this? I just don't know why. These guys are so insistent on killing me. I, I haven't done anything wrong. Maybe I keep accidentally knocking a villager or something. Well, who cares? I'm getting your iron. Look at him. Look, he's so angry. But I, I already know this guy's looking for me. Yeah, look. I bet he hits me. Yeah, what is going on? Glitchy game. <gasps> zombies. Follow me, zombies. Move out the way, you'll get killed. Come my way. And there's two of you. I don't need two of you. I just need the one. No way. And you're armored. My arch nemesis. Yeah, come on. Hop up here. Yeah, get in, this, get in the hole. No way. Really? You had to spawn right now? I needed those! Oh, you. Am I gonna have to kill you? Is that- Is that what this is? Down there, you fool. Now I gotta go find another zombie. Alright, well at least I have protection on my diamond armor. Oh, and I hit the villager. Great! Ah! I need a zombie. Oh, I had two zombies. It was- You couldn't- Oh god, villi- Oh! Creepers. So many creepers. Ah. Now, I do see a zombie and a slime, matter of fact. I wonder if I could kill him and make a sticky piston. But the priority is the zombie. So, let's try and get this guy over. Really? A slime? A slime in the border? Could this challenge get any more infuriating? Come on, follow me. Yes, come on. No. Yes, yes. All right, attempt two. Hopefully these guys don't spawn a big golem again. Yes, in the hole. No, not... I should have done it like that, shouldn't I? Right, let's go back down and try that again. What? What have I done? Why do you keep killing me? I don't understand this game. Oh, I hit a villager, didn't I? Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> that's happening again. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. All right, we try this again. Come on, zombie. You've got this. Yes, yes, follow me. Really? Really? Into the hole. Into the hole. No! Oh! Come on. Yes. Yeah. 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 No. Oh, yes! Yes, yes! You fell in there. You fell in there. You fell in there. Okay. Why is he burning? Don't burn. Let's make an anvil real quickly. You know what? Let's put the anvil in this house. Let's give this house a purpose. Hmm. Something original. What? I didn't even write that. The anvil wrote that for me. What the? That's crazy. 
I guess I'm gonna have to wait until tonight for more zombies to spawn. Here we go. No. Yes. Yes. Right. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. How are you too smart to not fall in that hole? That's what I want to know. Yo. Oh, yes. I don't care about you. Die. Oh, goodness. I did it. Right. Just give him the name tag. All right. He has the name tag. And then let me grab the stone brick. We got there in the end. That was one of the most infuriating things I've ever done in this video game. That took far too long. All right, the next part of the farm. It's pretty simple. You build the layer where the golems will spawn and then you surround it with walls so they can't leave. Then you stick a little block of lava that burns them and then a water flow which pushes them into the lava. Of course, that was working smoothly. So the next step was to build an area in which I collect the iron that the golems drop, which was pretty straightforward. Then you slap down a redstone torch to get the clock working and then you allow the farm to do its thing, which I did. I AFK'd and let golems spawn and die and spawn and die and spawn and die. And All die. jokes aside though, the farm is actually really efficient and it does about 3,000 iron an hour or something. It's really crazy, so it's good to get all this iron. It was definitely worth the struggle. <laughs> well, I think after a solid few days AFKing, it's time to see just how much iron we've got. Let's just clear all of this out of the way. My pickaxe is going to break soon. Oh, there goes another golem. I can hear him cooking. I may as well finish the bridge. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll build it close enough so I can get to the ladder. I'm also thinking I should probably make a diamond axe because I found a ton of diamonds down in that mine shaft. Yep, this works. Oh, I can hear another golem. This farm is working quite beautifully. Okay, cool. I can jump up like this. Doop -doop -doop -doop. We can take a look inside. Oh! Oh, yes. 64, a almost two stacks of iron is amazing. Oh, that is so much iron. Oh, and there goes another iron golem. Okay, perfect. Wow. Let's turn like a whole stack of that into nuggets. Wow. And then let's go grab, I don't know, a bunch of coal. Let's make a ton of torches. And then we'll go over to this crafting table and we'll make as many lanterns as we can. This is amazing. Look at that. 20 lanterns, 22 lanterns. And so much more iron left over. Oh, that is such a more efficient process instead of killing you individually. Sorry, I, I didn't say that. I hate all of you. Sorry. It's just, just so loud and annoying all the time, and I'm trapped inside this border with you, and there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> there we have it. Iron farm done. Let's place a load of these lanterns around because they just look so good. Obviously, it doesn't end there. The iron is going to come in very handy, especially with, like, iron tools and stuff. Diamonds aren't unlimited. However... Iron now is, so I'll be using iron tools for like forever. Oh, the vines look really nice. I feel like the vines are gonna block the crafting table. Let's just check that out real quick. Yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. That's counterintuitive. So, sorry vines, I'm gonna have to move you. That was painstakingly long, but at least now I have unlimited iron. I'm feeling in a building mood. I wanna get these creative juices out of me. But before we do that, let's go and investigate around this border, because this border has really opened up now, and we have like full access to like half the village. So let's just have a look. Oh, a pig! More hay bales means more wheat. Cool. Some more sugar cane, which I should probably actually attend to. Otherwise, it's a waste of time just leaving them there in three. Hello. Let's go plant all of these around the perimeter. We'll just stick these all along here. As you can see, the creepers have done a great job over here. Let's plant all of this. I'm wondering what to build. I'm thinking maybe something for storage. I'm getting quite a lot of stuff now. Now, originally I was going to build some storage in the nether, but I feel like I want to use more of the space in the border. I feel like it would look way nicer here than in the nether. Then the nether feels kind of pointless at this point. Look at all of this. This looks so nice. Man, Minecraft really is a beautiful game, especially with the shader pack. Let's just plant all of this sugar cane around. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Six pieces left. What to build, huh? I want to build something with a new material. I think it's very wooden and very stony. And this little sheep has been giving me wool for like the last 70, 80 days. So, how about... Oh, and I have red dye. Wait, eh. let's go and get the poppies from here. I could make red and white wool. I think that could look cool. 
And what if I build it, mm, I don't know, up here? I don't know, I just think it'd be so cool having a big build in the middle of this. Yeah, let's do that. I have plenty of iron to make shears now. Woohoo! Oh, ouch. First of all, let's go and make a diamond axe, because I can do that now. Cool. Oh, oh, and you know what? Let's head over to our little cool enchantment build area. Grab the lapis. <clears throat> and throw this bad boy down there. Oh, fortune three and efficiency four. Ah, oh, we'll have to see it. Do I... I might make another pickaxe. Honestly, we have the diamonds. Let's make another pickaxe. Nice, fresh pickaxe. See what enchantments we get on that. Boom. Boom. Ah, oh, I'm low on levels again. Oh, wow. Efficiency two. I'll make a thing to disenchant my tools later on. I wish to build up here. So to do that, I need to clear all of this. Let's clear all of this wheat. This shouldn't take too long. And then after I've cleared this wheat, I can get rid of the trees. I've got the zoomies! Oh, the lag. The lag. Now I just need to get rid of the trees. And efficiency helps with that. I'll make a new section for trees, I'm sure. I just have a cool idea for a build I want to do in the middle of this. Bloop, 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 bloop. All right, last tree. Is that all the trees now? Oh, no, there's one more tree over here. You're sneaky. You're a sneaky little tree, yeah. I need to make another chest. There we go. I can store my wheat in there. Just run and grab all of this. Right, so straight away, let's grab a bunch of this dye and turn a stack of my wool into red wool. Now, I've laid out the bottom, as you can see. Now I just need to make sure I do this right. <coughs> oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five. I've done that wrong already. I'm completely winging this, so forgive me. And then, I, you want to come in like that, right? Yeah. We'll trace along here. And then we'll come in one. And we'll fill it in like that. And then we'll go up a couple with that, I guess. Yeah. Do the same, but with red again. I think that's the... What has happened here? Let's step back. <laughs> it looks so bad. We well, gotta start again. It's not going well for CFG right now. We're getting close to the end, I think. And my brain is just rot. The border has driven me purely insane. So forgive me for the mistakes I make in the next 20 <laughs> days or whatever. <laughs> All right, it took a long time, but I think I've worked it out. I think this is a perfect circle. With the assistance of the internet, I've worked out how to do a perfect circle. So now I just need to build up from here. I don't know how I don't know how thick the base needs to be, but now, as you can see, we have a very big space to walk around in. And then I'll fill the rest in with seas around us. So it could look quite good. I'm guessing you've already assumed what I'm trying to do here. If you have, comment below before you even see the result. If you get it right, you get CFG approved. They deserve to live in fear for the rest of their lives. For the amount of stress that they put me through trying to get them in the minecarts. Sorry guys. You get what you deserve. Let's, do we, do we want to go four up? Four is a good amount. Yeah, let's do that. Trace all the way around here. I hope I don't mess this up. And there we go guys, I'm done. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking, this border has made me go insane. Let's say the door is here. Lanterns. I need to get up there. Okay, I'm gonna alternate between white and red. Like a big sugary candy cane. It's not a candy cane. If you think it's a candy cane, you're wrong. Nice. There we go. Finish this last bit. Bah, bah. Oh, okay. Invisible wall. I don't want this section to be bigger than the bottom section. Nearly there. Okay. I feel like something's gone wrong. I need an extra red one here. Ah. Oh, no. That looks pretty even across the block. What's it looking like? Oh, yeah. We've worked through the night. Look. The border is opening. Getting close now. Let's just get up there via this route. Now, this one has to go up by three as well. I'm gonna have to go grab some more wool in a moment. If you guys haven't guessed already, it's a lighthouse. I don't wanna do it with wood. I'm gonna swap that out for glass in a moment. But just temporarily, let's put wood in there. I basically just made a giant mob farm, haven't I? That's what's gonna happen. I haven't lit it up inside and there's gonna be a bunch of mobs that spawn. Let's leave space for like ladders or something there. And then we finish up this layer. Okay, we'll go up two like this. And then I feel like I need to put some sort of top on it, which I'm gonna need stone for. Let's jump off of here. Try and land in one of these little water pockets. <laughs> okay. How's that looking? It's a little fat on the bottom. Let's go and get the other materials I need to finish this up. <laughs> okay. Now we've 
done like the top bit. We just need to like, let's go from the outside, like here. Break these so I don't get confused. Yeah, okay, that works. And then we just need to add a little stair to join those, all of it together. And then I guess we just use stone on the top. Not stone, silly, glass. And we'll just build up with the glass. We'll just build around like this. Add like a little roof on it, like so. I'll add a piece of glass here like that. Yeah. This is either gonna look awful when I zoom out or really cool. Like, whoa, Coffee, I, you really used your imagination there. That's that's what, that's what I'm hoping I, I tell myself. I go, whoa, Coffee, you're good, man. What is going on here? It doesn't look right. If I, what if I put a piece of glass here with a lantern on it? No, no, no. We, we'll use a, we'll use a white piece of wall, put a lantern on it. I built myself up here and now I can't get out. Let's get down from here somehow. And let's observe. I think that looks cool. I think that looks very cool. I think what's missing is wheat all around the base. So let's go ahead and just surround this lighthouse with a bunch of wheat real quickly. All right. Whilst we wait for the wheat to grow, let's do the inside. And my suspicions were correct. I've basically made a mob farm. Because this thing is filled with mobs. That's a creeper. Oh, no, go away, go away. Don't you dare. I need a bow and arrow. Let's head inside. Make myself a crafting table and get rid of this. Oh, where's my shears as well? We'll also remove all the little odd bits. Okay, cool. Right. Um, let's place a crafting table down. And because we have loads of iron now, let's make a couple of iron shovels and just dispose of all of this real quickly. We'll remove all of this dirt and we'll replace it with a nicer block. It shouldn't take too long. I didn't think this through. There's loads of water in here. We'll get rid of all this. Now I'm asking myself, do I swap it out for wood? Or do I swap it out for stone? I don't know. What are we thinking? I think we swap it out for wood. And then we add, like, stone for texture. That's what I'm thinking. Boop, boop. All right, cool. All right, first of all, we need to put a lantern down because I can't see anything. All right, let's get to work filling this with wood. I really like this. I think this looks cool. I can't think of a more fitting structure than this for storage because it's tall. It has plenty of space for levels. I need to munch on my meat. And plenty of room to store everything that I've collected so far in the border. Now the question is, do I want multiple floors or just a bottom and a sort of middle? I don't know. See, I'm thinking like we do this and we stack them like that, right? Oh, that one. Can I break that one? Yeah, I can. Okay. Cool. So I can place the chest like this. This is almost all of my wood I have left. I haven't planted any trees in a hot minute, so I need to be very careful. Let's place three more chests here, then break this one. So we can have storage all along here. Oh, yeah, that looks really good. Let's repeat that process. Let's repeat that process for this floor. Boom and boom. Boom, boom and boom. Boom, boom and boom. <gasps> can I put a lantern in there? <gasps> I can! Look at that. We can have lanterns tucked away. You know what? Can I not just remove... Yeah, that looks nice. We can have it like that. Yeah. Chest, 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 chest. Shears, 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 and shears. And boom. That iron farm is coming really handy. Basically got unlimited lanterns now. Oh, that looks so good. Then we need to break this. Let's just plant some trees around. Because I have a feeling that's going to come back to haunt me that I haven't planted trees in a while. I mean, there's loads in the swamp. I'll plant it here. That, that'll do. And then random places like here. And at least I definitely have wood. Thanks to the bordering opening up and the saplings. All right, let's go back to these stairs. So I'm thinking we alternate like that. Yeah, okay. And we'll build a staircase that goes up into the next floor. And then we'll leave it at that. Two floors of storage. Place these here like show. Um, I have a feeling I might have to pivot. Yeah, I might have to come up and then go up that way. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I think I'm right. So let's do this. And then we'll go back up this way. Does that affect? No, it doesn't. Okay, we're good actually. I mean, the wall does get in the way slightly. But for aesthetics purposes, I've got to fill it in, so... We can open all of this up. We can hang a lantern from here, look. And the stairs can go like this, leading us to the next floor. 
That looks really cool. I actually really like that. As long as there's enough space for me to do this without hitting my head, I'm okay. Place these two blocks. And then place these two blocks. Add the chest like this. And add the lanterns. Let's swap that piece out for wood so it doesn't look ugly. That works. And who cares about going up to the top anyway? We'll add a lantern there. And then we'll use the leftover logs we've got to join at the top and make a cross sort of thing. So you come up here, there's even more storage. And I'll just add another lantern here because I just love lanterns so much. Place some lanterns around and boom, just like that, storage is done. I think the final product looks amazing. The wheat farm around it really enhances the entire build. And now I have pretty much unlimited storage. Let's take a moment to really appreciate the lighthouse in full view. I love this whole thing. It's such a cool build. I can store all of my stuff in here. It's so satisfying. I'm really happy with that. That is a solid few days. Whoa, that border has really opened up. Sheesh, how many days does this take? That is sick. Well, now I don't have to worry about where I store my items ever again. Let me just grab all the iron and poppy seeds from here. Doop -doop 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 -doo, jump up the ladder. There's literally a golem being fried as we speak. Look at that. That is so satisfying. Sorry, buddy. What we got? Ooh, loads. <laughs> it's so random, but I really like it. I think the lighthouse really makes this whole thing. Hello, golem. If you hit me, I'm out. Oh, okay. You made me nervous. Don't creep up on me like that, bro. Look, we have access to the villagers' little farm. Even more wheat. Oh, the bell. I'm sorry, I'm stealing that. I'm stealing the bell. I'm taking the bell back to my home. Let's put it down here with you guys, hey? Look, they're all happy now, look. I've united you all. Woo! Oh, do some maintenance, clean up the old vines. So we have a fully leveled up enchantment table. We have storage. We have unlimited iron. I can go caving whenever I like. We have access to the nether. We have a fully functional village with villagers that will do everything that I say. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I've done a fantastic job. We even have a bunch of animals. And you see this little guy, where is he? Where's my sheep? You are amazing. I actually love you. Let me just grab some more wool off you. Every time I pass, I've got to do the old snip snip. How about... Ah, don't escape. I should probably feed you guys. Yep. Munch on all that wheat. Whoa, 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 what's this? The end is near. What? What do you mean? What does that mean? I didn't even think I'd get to the end. Whoa! Does that mean tomorrow? Like, if I go to sleep, will I wake up in the end? What does that mean? Okay, I cannot mess around. Um, uh, what do you need to fight an ender dragon? We need a bow. Oh my goodness, we need a bow. I keep saying that all the way through this last hundred days that I need a bow, but I never crafted one. Let's grab the string from here and then we'll make ourselves a bow. Cool. Amazing. Um, I definitely have arrows kicking around, but I need infinity if I'm gonna kill the dragon. And I need to be quick. I have loads of food, so I'm not worried about that. Grab my blue lapis. Infinity. Oh my goodness! We get infinity straight away on the enchantment table, but I need three more levels. So, that is amazing. Right, I need to go to the nether and just get some levels real quick. I'll grab these spare levels. <laughs> Alright, that was easy. No, don't escape! I only need two more levels now because the cows have granted me. Do I get XP for killing you? Oh, 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 regret! No, I, I don't get any XP for killing him. Now I just feel awful. The border opened up a gigantic amount since we last went into the nether. So, let's go and grab some nether quartz. Alright, what do we got? Why is there XP kicking around? So many things have died here. Well, this works for me. There's loads of XP down here. What? <gasps> no! I'm not wearing gold! I don't have any gold boots on me. They don't drop XP either, so now I just feel awful. Sorry. Oh, they do drop XP. Okay, cool. Which way did I use to get up before? Ah, nether quartz. Right. This isn't going to take too long. Oh, and there's the next level up there. Is there anything out there since the border's opened up? Probably not. Let's get up to the next level. Come on, nether quartz. I know you're in here somewhere. I wonder if there's any ancient debris in this border. Ah, oh, something for 200 days, I guess. If you guys want to see 200 days in the border, feel free to let me know. My pickaxe is about to break, but good thing we have another one. Ha! I knew I'd eventually find nether quartz. Let's grab... All of this. Twinkle, twinkle, nether quartz. Ah! I'm playing it risky. You can see I just want to get this done quick because I don't have a lot of time. 
Oh, gold. Um, okay, yeah. So the border has opened up gigantic amounts because now I'm in a basalt delta, whatever this is called. Um, I don't think there's any nether quartz in here, though. Oh, nether quartz. Could this be it? Could this be enough to get level 30? <gasps> yes. All right. Infinity, here I come. Let's rush back home. Quick. Hello, cow. To the enchantment table. Oh, no. It's night time. Blue lapis. Infinity. I'm breaking. That is the best bow I could have asked for. What the? Okay. I mean, I have diamond armor. I need a water bucket. Ah, I'm against the clock here. Quick. Up to the storage. Into my beautifully man-made lighthouse. Uh, where did I put everything? Oh, no. I'll keep the building blocks to climb the obsidian towers. I don't need half this stuff, though. Ah, oh, I could have used... I could have just made loads of beds, couldn't I, to kill him? Oh, well. I've got wood. I have my bow. I have arrows. I've got my water bucket. I've got food. All right. We've got a water bucket. I've got my sword with sharpness one on. That's crazy. I, I must be really close to 100 days then. Ah, mobs. Ah! Phantoms. I have not slept in a long time. All right. Well, I assume if I go to bed, I'm going to wake up in the end because the message... Do I have everything? Am I prepared? I think I'm prepared. Here goes nothing. <sighs> okay. I'm in. Where am I, though? That is the question. Oh, I hear... I hear flapping of wings. Am I underneath where I need to be? I'm so nervous. Where... Oh, yay. The border has followed me into this... <laughs> into the end. No... Wait, what? You're... You're kidding. I can't... That's a joke, right? I can't kill him. And now I can't get home. What the... This has to be a joke. No. At least I made it to 100 days. What am I meant to do here? What is th What am I meant to do? I'd have to wait like 200 days to reach that. That's like another 50 days before I can reach that. That's, I'm stuck here forever. I'm stuck in the end forever. No!